You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Tries karate. <laughs> Mommy, can we go to the park? Perhaps a little later, Caillou. I have to take Rosie to her swimming class now. I want to go swimming too. Isn't Leo coming over today? Caillou had completely forgotten that he had a play date with Leo. Yeah, Leo is coming. Leo's coming. Today Yay. was shaping up to be a great day. Caillou was very excited. He thought maybe it would be Leo calling to tell him that he was on his way over. Hello, Leo? Oh. Daddy, it's for you. Thank you, Caillou. Hello? Oh, hi. No problem at all. I'm glad I can help. Send Sarah over when she's ready. Goodbye. Is Sarah coming over? Actually, yes. But not to play. Sarah's mom has a bad cold, so she asked me if I could take Sarah to her karate class a little later. Karate class? Uh-huh. Karate! Karate seemed very strange to Caillou. Leo! Caillou and Leo were very happy to be spending the morning together. But they couldn't wait to start playing. <laughs> Caillou! <laughs> You're not Caillou. I'm here, Mommy. We are bears in a cave. Roar! Sarah, why are you still in your pajamas? These aren't my pajamas. It's called a gi. I wear it for my karate class. <laughs> Silly me. I'll be ready in just a minute. Why don't you go show Caillou your karate gi? Hi, Sarah. Caillou's in his room. But beware, there are big bears in dark caves upstairs. Roar! <laughs> Caillou, are you in there? Sarah! <laughs> Hi. I can't stay long. Your dad's driving me to my karate class. I wanted to show you my karate gi. You wear that for karate? Uh-huh. See? Ha! I need room to do my karate moves, and my gi is comfortable. Your dad thought I was still in my pajamas. Caillou and Leo were very impressed by Sarah's karate demonstration. Sarah, time to go. I gotta go. But I can come back after my class and show you a few more moves if you want. Bye. Wow. <laughs> The karate lesson turned out to be fun for everyone. <laughs> Just like Daddy. Beep, 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 boom. What's that, Daddy? I'm preparing a list of things I want to do today. Hmm. What things? I'm going to the store with Rosie. Would you like to come, Caillou? No, I want to stay with Daddy. Thank you. I want coffee, too. Hmm. Hmm. Coffee is a bit strong for you, Caillou. But here is your very own cup. You can pretend it's coffee. Thank you, Mommy. Caillou loved doing the same thing as his daddy. Uh-oh, look at the time. I better get started. Daddy! Hang 
on, let me see the list for a second. Hmm, fix this and th ah. And let's add make lunch. There. Now you can give this list to Daddy, Caillou. Okay. Bye. Bye, honey. We'll be back soon. All right. Ah! No, Gilbert. Aw. Give me that back. Oh. Here, Gilbert. Oh. Everything all right down there? Uh-huh. Caillou thought his daddy's face looked very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on my face, Daddy. Go and get your steps. Uh. Okay, now what, Daddy? <laughs> that tickles. I look funny. Okay, now what, Daddy? You can use this to wipe the foam off. Shaving too. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hey, are you copying me? <laughs> Gilbert, no! Hey there, Mr. In a hurry. You need to clean your face first. But Gilbert took. Don't worry, you can get whatever it is later. But his mommy had asked Caillou to give the list to his daddy. Just what we need. See this? I think your piece will fit just right. We'll glue it back on. Can I do it? Squeeze gently. Huh? Caillou was very proud to be helping his daddy. Bless you. Uh, 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 this chair is dirty. We better clean it. <laughs> and clean your nose too, Daddy. I think it will look good right here. It will look good right here. Great job, Caillou. I fixed the chair, Gilbert. I think I'll take a little newspaper break. Okay, Caillou? Caillou liked doing the same thing as his daddy. I'm taking a break too, Daddy. Mm-hmm. Okay, ready to go back to work? Yes. Then follow me. <laughs> I see you. What is it? It's a washer. It goes in here. A washer goes here. Great job, Caillou. We'll have this box sorted in no time. Caillou was proud of helping his daddy. Hello, we're back. Mommy! In here! Caillou! Caillou! Sorry, Rosie. This is a job for Caillou and me. I'm helping Daddy. Mm. Hello there. Hmm. What have you cooked us for lunch? Nuts and bolts soup? Lunch? Uh, Gilbert! Just a minute, Caillou. Rosie is trying to do something. Daddy! Rosie is trying to help us. Daddy, look! 
Thank you, Caillou. Let's see. We did this and that and, hey, making lunch wasn't on there this morning. <laughs> nope, I added it. Okay, now everyone gets to make lunch. Mmm, look at this nice slice of tomato. Caillou really liked doing the same thing as his daddy. A nice tomato for mommy. But he liked helping his mommy, too. Thank you, Caillou. Safari. One zebra? Teddy, have you seen my cards? Goodbye. your box. Caillou was disappointed. He wanted to play with the cards. Are you looking for your cards? I know where you can find the whale. You do, Mommy? I saw it in the bathroom. The search was exciting. Where could the whale card be? want to hand over the box of cards to Rosie. He was playing with it. Caillou! What's going on? It's my turn to play with the cards. It looks like there are a lot of cards still missing. I can go find them. And maybe Rosie can join you on your safari. Yay! What's a safari? When you are on a safari, you look around very carefully to spot animals. Caillou loved the idea. He decided to pretend the missing cards were all real animals to find. Come on, Rosie. Let's go on a safari. Look! A snake! Caillou and Rosie kept their eyes open. Where were the animals going to show up next? <laughs> they liked pretending to be the animals they found. A crocodile. <laughs> Caillou liked crocodiles because they were big and strong. Dinner is ready, you two. But Caillou and Rosie wanted to continue their safari. Come on, Caillou. You can play some more later. I'm not Caillou. I'm a crocodile. Really? Well, that's too bad because Caillou will miss one of his favorite foods, hamburgers. <gasps> hamburgers? Uh, look, Daddy, it's really me, Caillou. Cowboy Caillou. Whoa there, Caillou. <laughs> Daddy! You know, my friend Jonas lives on a ranch with lots of horses. Would you like to meet him? Is he a cowboy? He sure is. I want to go. Okay, first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, boy. Mm. 
Meeting a real cowboy sounded so exciting that Caillou could hardly wait for tomorrow. I'll go find Jonas. Here, Caillou, take these carrot sticks. You might want them later. Caillou wasn't interested in the carrots. All he could think about was meeting a cowboy. Caillou, this is my friend, Jonas. Hi. Hi there, partner. Would you like a tour of the ranch? Yes, please. Caillou had never seen a real cowboy before. He was very impressed. Why, thank you, little lady. <laughs> I think Rosie would rather look for flowers. We'll leave you cowboys to your business. Have you ever seen a lasso before, Caillou? Wow! Caillou was amazed by the tricks Jonas could do. Uh, gotcha! Good thing we caught that tree stump before it got away. <laughs> Look, Caillou! That's a big horse! Daddy. <laughs> That's a pony. Horses are even bigger. I'll bring one out from the stable. Caillou couldn't imagine how much bigger a horse could be. Look out, it's raining hay. <laughs> 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 Daddy! The sound of the horse startled Caillou. Uh, maybe he doesn't want us playing with his food. Really? <laughs> no, Caillou. Only joking. Comes the horse, Daddy. Caillou couldn't believe how big the horse was. He felt a little scared. Caillou, this is lucky. Come on, we'll meet him together. Hi, Lucky. I think he likes you. What's this? You know, Lucky loves carrots. Do you want to give him some? Yes. I like carrots, too. A cowboy's number one job is to take care of his horse. Ow! It's prickly. That's because it's especially made for horse hair. Good work. Let's check his shoes. Shoes? Caillou thought it was funny that horses wore shoes, too. Sometimes they need to wear them. I keep a few extra pairs over there if you want to take a look. Caillou decided he liked his shoes better. Hear that? Caillou pretended he was riding a horse. Faster, horsey! <laughs> Faster! <laughs> that gives me an idea, partner. I'll be right back with a surprise. Why don't we find Mommy and Rosie so they can see the surprise, too? Hmm. I wonder where Rosie is. She was here a minute ago.
I thought you'd like to go for a ride, Caillou. Hang on, Caillou. Come on, Rosie. Oh, Rosie. Don't be scared, Rosie. Lucky is a nice horse. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Lucky. And we're off. Caillou thought Lucky was very strong to be able to pull everyone. Would you like to drive, Caillou? Okay. Caillou was a little nervous, but he really wanted to try driving the wagon. I'm driving, Daddy. Now you look like a real cowboy. Yeehaw! <laughs> Hope you had a good time. Here's a souvenir. Bye, partner. Bye, partner. Bye, bye, Lucky. <laughs> wow, horsey. Now you can have some carrots. Nay. <laughs> Odd. The jackets are giggling. Shh. I'm hiding, Mommy. Caillou! Caillou, I found you! I found you! <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. Caillou thought it was unfair that Rosie had found him. I didn't tell where you were hiding, sweetie. I came here to take my jacket. Look who I found hiding under the kitchen table. Rosie must know that it's her nap time. Where are you going? Mommy? I'm going to the grocery store. Would you like to come with me? Caillou loved going grocery shopping with his mommy. I'll bring something back, Rosie. That was very sweet of you, Caillou. Caillou remembered that he had lots of money in his piggy bank. Caillou, I just got Rosie to sleep. I thought you were going to the store with Mommy. I am, but Mommy said that we needed money. There you are. Are we ready to go? Look, Mommy, I have money. You better put yours in your pocket so you don't lose it. No, Mommy. Caillou felt that he was much too big to ride in the grocery cart. He much preferred having his very own cart to push around and to fill up. Whoa, sweetie, slow down. I have a list of things we need to buy. Why don't you help me find some of them, okay? Let's start with some fruit. Caillou was good at finding things in the grocery store. It was like a hide-and-seek game, only you had to find food. Good work, Caillou. You found the apples. I'll get a bag to put them in. I want to do it. Here, let me show you. Caillou really liked how the girl's face was all made up with sparkles and swirls. He wanted to have his face painted, too. You can get it done, too. There's a lady that does face painting over there. You better ask your mom first, because it costs money. Mommy, Mommy, can I have that done, too? I have money. Look, can I please? Caillou was happy to have his face painted, and he was proud to be paying with his very own money. Beep! Here's your change. Have a nice day. Be for Rosie. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Caillou and Rosie played a new game of hide and seek. But this time, Rosie was the one that was easy to find. <laughs> Can you guess why? Caillou's canoe trip. on a very special wilderness adventure with Grandpa and Daddy. 
They were going to sleep over one night in a log cabin. I used to take your dad here when he was a boy, just like you. The cabin is like a small house. It's all made of wood. Where is it? We still have a way to go before you can see it. Ah, this way. And keep your eyes and ears open. There are lots of surprises in nature. It didn't take long before Caillou spotted his first surprise. Daddy, look! It's gone! That's how the snail protects itself. Maybe he was scared of you. Everything's exactly how I remember it. A boat! Not just any boat. This is a canoe and is going to take us across the lake to the log cabin on the other side. Caillou suddenly felt far away from home. He wished that his mommy was here with him, too. I don't want to go. It's okay to be worried, Caillou. New adventures can be frightening at first, but they can also be lots of fun, and we're here with you. And you get your very own life jacket, just like us. See? But Caillou was still missing his mommy. Oh, Rexy! Mm -hmm. Here you go, Caillou. Thanks! You know what? I think I have an idea. See? We can take pictures. You'll be able to show Mommy and Rosie all about our adventure. Want to try? Tell me when you see something you want to take a picture of, okay? Taking pictures was fun. This made Caillou feel more excited about the trip. <laughs> Ready to go now? Is my little lookout ready? Let me know if you want me to take a picture of something. Caillou liked being a lookout. He even got Rexy to help too. Caillou thought it was beautiful. It's a dragonfly. A dragonfly. Wow. Look, Rexy. It went over there. Can we go too? Certainly, Captain. To the bulrushes we go. You can touch it, Caillou. The spike of the bulrush is very soft. Yes. Look! Caillou had never seen such a big, beautiful bird up close before. <gasps> We're in luck. That's a blue heron. Did you see that? Yeah! <laughs> Let's get going. We're almost there. Oh, boy, look at that. Where? Oh, Rexy! Don't move, Caillou. I'll get him. What a scare. Caillou was very happy and relieved that Rexy had been saved. Aha. I think I know who made the splash. This was gnawed by a beaver. See this pointy end? But where is the beaver now? Look at that! Let's get in closer. Maybe we'll be lucky and spot some beavers. Okay. Where's the beaver? That's the beaver's house. It's called a lodge. Where's the door? The door is underneath. The beavers have to swim underwater to get inside. Daddy! Grandpa! Is that a beaver? Sure is. Wow! He must be in his lodge by now. 
Time to go. The heat of the fire felt warm and cozy. Caillou was sure his wet dinosaur liked it, too. What's that sound? Crickets. The cricket song was very soothing, and soon Caillou was feeling sleepy. Maybe it's time we put you to bed. No. Uh, I'm not tired. Good, because the best is yet to come. Roasting marshmallows was my very favorite thing when I came here as a boy. Me too. Caillou liked to watch the marshmallow changing color. Mmm. Let's make another one for Grandpa. And for Rexy. Mommy likes them too. Rosy. This had been such an exciting day. The Caillou fell asleep before getting to his bed, his head filled with wonderful images of beavers, bulrush, dragonflies, and marshmallows. And Daddy carried me to bed after the marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that, you saw a heron. Look, Mommy. <laughs> I sent you a kiss. Caillou and the Bulldozer. Look at the big truck. It went in there. What's in there, Mommy? You'll see in just a second. There's a hole in the fence we're looking through. Uh, uh, I can't see. Pick me up. Please? Please, Mommy. <gasps> wow. A bulldozer. The powerful bulldozer was fascinating for Caillou. It must have been very strong to move all that dirt. When I grow up, I'm going to drive a big bulldozer. Then I can watch you through the hole in the fence. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to go home now, honey. Daddy's waiting for us. Caillou didn't want to leave. No, Mommy. I want to watch some more. Okay, Caillou. Put on your seatbelt. Airplane coming in for a landing. <clears throat> I'm a flying bulldozer. Are you bulldozing the clouds? <clears throat> Wait for me, Mr. Bulldozer! Hi, Caillou. I'm not Caillou. I'm a bulldozer! Caillou figured out how he could turn himself into a real bulldozer. Yeah. Hey, look, Rosie. Caillou's a bulldozer. Loser! Caillou was so involved in being a bulldozer, he didn't think of anything else. And not everyone liked it. Look, Caillou! Caillou thought that Rosie wanted to play bulldozer, too. Caillou didn't realize that Rosie just wanted to show him her nice tower. Rosie, bulldozers can help build, too. Soon Rosie was building her tower again, and Caillou the bulldozer wanted to find another job to do. Thank you. I'm going out in the yard to rake the leaves. I could sure use a bulldozer to help. Want to come? A job for a bulldozer? Caillou was thrilled. He couldn't wait to get started. Good work, Caillou. Thanks. Wow, looks like you're almost done. Caillou was happy. This was a perfect...
perfect job for a bulldozer. And there was plenty to do. <laughs> Caillou the firefighter. that loud sound? Caillou wanted to find out. Daddy, it smells stinky in here. I know. My toast burned and set off the fire alarm. The idea of a fire was scary to Caillou. He was worried. A fire? We were very lucky. It was only a little one. It's out now. Hmm. I think we should get Mommy and Rosie to practice a fire drill. That way, we'll all know what to do if the fire alarm goes off again. A fire drill sounded exciting and important. Caillou wanted to do it. I'll get Mommy and Rosie. Firefighters were there to help when there was a fire. Ooh. Gilbert, I'm a fireman! Come back! Okay, we're going to have a fire drill. First, let's listen to the alarm again to recognize it. Good idea. I want to do it. Please. <coughs> Daddy explained that when the fire alarm goes off, the first thing to do is to get out of the house as quickly as possible. Got it? Ready to try? Remember, if there is ever a fire, once you're outside, do not go back in the house. Right? Right. Okay, now we make sure everybody is here. Then we call the fire department from a neighbor's house. Caillou decided to pretend he was a firefighter coming to help. Ooh. Caillou imagined the flowers were on fire. He loved playing his firefighting game. And a great one, too. <laughs> hey, watch where that water goes, Mr. Firefighter. <laughs> Caillou and his family finished their first fire drill. <laughs> Caillou the timekeeper. for our picnic. Let's go, Mommy! Not yet, Caillou. We'll go later. I have things to do before we leave. Caillou wanted to go on the picnic right away. He did not understand why his Mommy wanted to wait. Can we go on our picnic now, Daddy? Now? But it isn't lunchtime yet. When's lunchtime? By the time I finish doing the laundry, it will be lunchtime. See, there's a button missing. We'll find a new one and you'll have your jacket for the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> you said picnic. Is it lunchtime, Mommy? No, Caillou. Not yet. Aww. Daddy! <laughs> Caillou, you surprised me. Are you finished? Can we go? You know, time occasionally feels like it's going by very slowly. Hey, how would you like to be a timekeeper? You could be the one who tells us when it's time to go. 
Really? I have just the thing. When the big hand and the little hand are both pointing to number 12, it'll be lunchtime. And I'm going to set the clock so that the alarm rings at lunchtime, just like this. Ah! Uh, thank you, Daddy. Caillou was having a lot of fun with the alarm clock. He was very proud of his timekeeper job. It's not time yet. Me too. No, Rosie. Daddy had given the clock to him. He didn't want to let Rosie play with it. My clock! Rosie, did you take it? Caillou yeah. could not believe it. His timekeeper clock had disappeared. <laughs> My timekeeper clock is gone. Do you know where the clock is, Rosie? No. Hmm, it must be around here somewhere. Let's look. Caillou has lost his clock. It's not here. Could it be in here? Nope. <laughs> Try to cheer up, Caillou. We'll have a great picnic. And maybe we'll find the clock later. No. I don't want to go. I want my timekeeper's clock. My clock! It's lunchtime! Now we can go on the picnic! That's me! I'm Caillou. I'm four years old, and there's lots I can do. I can make things with my daddy. I know how to make my teddy bear all better. I even read stories to my grandma. But what I'm best at is having fun. Elephants. And this animal is big. Really, really big. Big? Big like a dinosaur. It's an elephant. Ooh! And we'll see elephants today at the zoo. I love elephants. Let's get ready. We'll pick up Daddy from work on the way home. Ready! Okay. Caillou was very excited about going to the zoo. He wanted to show Rosie all about elephants. They were his favorite. All the animals seem to be talking at the same time. What was that? I think I know. I'll give you a clue. It's got feathers. A bird? Mm-hmm. A parrot. Caillou thought the parrot was beautiful. But his mind was set on seeing the elephants. Elephants! Which way should we go? This way. That's right, this way. A monkey! <laughs> you like them? The monkeys were really funny, but Caillou wanted to go on to see the big elephants. It's a hippopotamus. The hippopotamus was very impressive. It was quite a big animal. Wow, he's big. But the elephants are even bigger. Let's go. Would you like to have a piggyback ride to go see the elephants? Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. He was finally seeing the elephants, and he was very, very happy. Elephants! Caillou had a good long look at the elephants. He thought they were the biggest animals he had ever seen. So big! You like them, Rosie? 
It's a baby elephant with a daddy elephant. He's so strong. The baby is eating. The daddy elephant is coming closer. <laughs> and the sheep. Are you ready to go? Shh. Mommy is trying to get some rest in the living room. Shh. Mommy has a cold. And while she rests, we're going to go visit a special friend of mine. Caillou loved going on adventures with Grandma. There were always so many surprises. Bye, Caillou. <laughs> Bye, Daddy. Bye, Rosie. What's that? Sheep? Wow, Grandma. Sheep. Look. Caillou was very excited. He had never seen sheep that close before. It's eating grass! <laughs> oh! It's only saying hello, dear. He hello? <laughs> hello there. Hello, Emma. Caillou wanted to stay with the sheep, but he knew that he had to follow Grandma. Emma, it's so good to see you. And who is this handsome young man? This is my grandson, Caillou. Emma owns this farm. Caillou was a little shy with Emma, but he was completely fascinated by everything around him. A sheep! Come on in, and I'll show you all the wonderful things we do with the wool from the sheep we have on the farm. could not believe his eyes. There was a rainbow of beautiful colors. And this couldn't be Mary, could it? Look at you, all grown up. Oh, oh. I got it. Thanks. Caillou had never seen a spinning wheel before. He wasn't sure what it could be used for. We use the spinning wheel to spin wool into yarn. It's been around for a long time. Why, it used to belong to my grandmother, Caillou. I use it in the shop as a decoration, but it still works. Do you want to touch it? It's wool from the sheep. The wool felt very soft to Caillou. Here, I'll show you how it's done. You have to stretch it. Mary, can you give me a hand? Sure. Caillou thought it was pretty neat that the wool began turning into yarn. It was almost like magic. Wow! Isn't that amazing? <laughs> do you want to go see the sheep with me? And that was exactly what Caillou wanted to do. Go ahead, Caillou. Yeah! We'll have some tea and chat. Caillou thought the sheep looked very funny. It was much skinnier than the other sheep. Where did its wool go? Why is it like that? Dad probably just sheared him. Come and see. Mary, wait! Caillou couldn't believe what he was seeing. The man was taking the wool right off the sheep's back. Dad really concentrates when he shears sheep. I bet he won't even notice us. Is this sheep cold? 
Oh, no. And his wool will go back. Come on, I want to show you something else. What? It's a surprise. Caillou was curious to see what would come next. Is this wool? Yes, it is. Wow! Oh, no! He got out of his box again. Caillou was a little scared. Come on now, back in your box. This sheep was much smaller than the other sheep. It looked like a baby. And it did not seem to want to listen to Mary at all. <laughs> Come on. He drinks milk from a bottle like Rosie used to. Is he a baby? Yup. We call a baby sheep a lamb. And lambs love milk, like all babies do. The lamb's wool seemed even softer than the other wool he had touched before. Caillou really liked the lamb. Now let's try to get him back into his box. Do you want to hold the bottle? Okay. You just have to back up. The lamb will follow you. I'll open the door. Okay, Caillou, you can come out now. Sorry, no more. Thanks, Caillou. Caillou was very proud to have helped. We had a great time, Emma. Thank you so much. <laughs> we have to do this more often. Oh, definitely. Where's Mary? Mary? Go, Caillou. It's for you. Caillou? Thank you. Look, Daddy. Shh. Mom is sleeping in the living room. Shh. Look, Daddy. I got a sheep. Me. And Rosie gets a sheep, too. Me, too. Caillou decided that his sheep would be good company and help Mommy sleep better. Caillou and the puppies. We're going to help Mr. Hinkle? Yes. To make a doghouse. A doghouse? Hello, Mr. Hinkle. Hello. Glad you could come and help. And hello to you too, Caillou. Where's the doggy? Caillou? Hello, Mr. Hinkle. They're not one, but three dogs. Two puppies and a mommy. <laughs> Listen, that's one of them. <laughs> it's a puppy. One. Two, three. <laughs> Want to play with them, Caillou? Caillou was excited to play with the puppies. He liked them very much. But sometimes he felt nervous playing with dogs. That's a good girl, Mimi. Come on. Here, girl. She's the mommy. Hello, Mimi. <laughs> she likes you. I didn't know you were opening a kennel, Mr. Hinkle. I'm looking after the dogs for a friend who's moving to a new home. The doghouse is a surprise for him. <laughs> Caillou was still a little nervous, but he liked the puppies very much. They were so full of energy. Hello! <laughs> They're very excited to play with you. Oh, where'd the spotted puppy go, Mr. Hinkle? He can't be far. I bet he's hiding. I'll go and find him. Have fun. Here, puppy! Caillou had so much fun playing with one puppy that he almost forgot to look for the other one. <laughs> then he remembered. Where's your spotted puppy? <laughs> that's not a puppy. That's a ball. Puppy! I can't find the spotted puppy, Mr. Hinkle. 
Don't worry. Their mommy keeps a careful eye on them. He's probably still playing his game. I hear him! Poppy! Poppy! Where are you hiding? <laughs> there you are! The puppy was playing hide-and-seek. Caillou loved this game. Where's the puppy? He ran over here. I didn't see him. We'll just put this roof on, and then we'll have a little look. There he is! <laughs> there. All done. I hope the dogs like it. Come here, Mimi. Come on, puppies. Do you like it? It's a great house. I love it. <laughs> I think they like the house. Mr. Hinkle, they're going to sleep. I think they like you, too. The Duck Family. I got it, Daddy! Okay, Caillou. One more time. It's too far. Hold on, Caillou. Wait for me. Don't worry, we'll get it back somehow. Ducks! It looks like they're having a family picnic, too. Caillou loved watching the duck family. It sounds like they're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? They're probably looking for something to eat under the water. Caillou couldn't imagine how ducks found food underwater. They're hiding? No, look, they're coming back. One's missing. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Caillou was having fun playing hide and seek with the ducks. Daddy, look! I think we scared them. Caillou was sorry they had scared the ducks. He wanted to keep watching them. I have an idea. Come on. Now I'll show you how to speak like a duck. Ready? Quack! Quack! Caillou thought ducks spoke a very strange language, but he decided to give it a try. That's the father duck. See his colorful feathers? Caillou wanted the whole family to come out of the water. Quack! 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 quack, quack. quack. Daddy! Caillou was thrilled to be so close to such a tiny duckling. Hi, little duck. Why are they leaving? The mother duck is just making sure her ducklings don't get lost. Caillou! <laughs> Come on, let's go see your mother duck. Whoa! You found it! Caillou had been having so much fun with the ducks that he'd completely forgotten about his ball. If I were a duck, I could swim over there to get it. Great job! Yay! Caillou! <laughs> Come on, we better get you home and cleaned up. I don't want to take a bath. But there's someone waiting for you in the tub. Quack, quack, quack! <laughs> <laughs> Clementine on the phone. She just got a new pet and we're invited to go see it. Want to go? Uh-huh. Caillou could not wait to play with Clementine's pet. I know Clementine didn't get a cat. Can you guess what she got? 
Caillou's own pet was Gilbert, a cat. What else could a pet be? A dog? True, a dog can be a pet, but that's not it. Try again. Look, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Maybe Clementine got a squirrel? Nope. Squirrels are wild animals. They live outside. Let's see. I'll give you a hint. Clementine's pet is orange. What could be orange, thought Caillou? A dinosaur. Oh, my. That would be something. I guess you'll soon find out. Hello! Hello. Please, come in. Come see. He makes bubbles. <laughs> what kind of an animal could blow bubbles, Caillou wondered? A fish! What does he eat? I like hot dogs and cookies. Here you go, sweetie. Now just a little bit, okay? He eats fish food. See? Take a tiny pinch and drop it on the water. My little fish will get too warm if he keeps his jacket on. Okay. Thank you, Caillou. Do you want to play? Hi, fishy. His name is Goldie because he's a goldfish. <laughs> the fish seemed to stop a moment to say hello. Caillou was delighted. Goldfish, goldfish, <laughs> Goldie the goldfish. Anyone for a snack? Goldie the goldfish. Eat like Goldie. Let's draw Goldie. It's for you. Thank you. It's beautiful. Caillou will be leaving soon, all right? Caillou did not want to go just yet. He had a surprise in mind. Caillou was happy. Goldie was looking at his picture. Mommy was ready to go back home. Here, it's for Goldie. Bye, Clementine. Hello! Clementine has a goldfish named Goldie, and he liked my drawing. Goldie is not the only <laughs> one who likes it. Hey, Gilbert! <laughs> it's Mommy's drawing. <laughs> Mommy is great. She takes me to fun places like the beach. Mommy says it's fun to try new things. <laughs> she likes it when I draw her pictures. It's beautiful, Caillou. Thank you. And I like it when she tucks me in at night. to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Disappearing carrots. Teddy is hungry, Mommy. Rosie hungry, too. It's not quite ready. You'll have to wait a few more minutes. One minute, two minutes, three minutes. Is it ready now? Ready now? How about you go get two carrots from the garden? I'll prepare them into bunny carrots to munch while you're waiting. Yay! Bunny, bunny carrots! Caillou and Rosie went out to the vegetable garden where the carrots were growing. Bunny carrots! Yay! Caillou had picked carrots before and knew they were ready to be picked. This one. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. 
Then it was Rosie's turn to get a bunny carrot. No, Rosie, Mommy has to wash them first. Because it was such a nice day, Mommy decided they should eat their lunch outside. Hey, you two need to wash those hands before you eat. Off you go. Caillou couldn't find his bunny carrots anywhere. He wondered what had happened to them. Gone! I can't find them. This is very strange. I guess it's a mystery. The case of the disappearing carrots. <sighs> I'll pick some more for you. Caillou was really puzzled. Where could those carrots have gone? Mommy! Mommy! A rabbit! There's a rabbit! He has a carrot! Really? This way! Are you sure it was a rabbit? Yes! A little white rabbit! There it is! Aww. <laughs> Maybe the rabbit will come back. Caillou thought he spotted the rabbit's white tail in the garden. But there was no rabbit. Ellie! Caillou was so disappointed. He thought that he would never see that little white bunny again. Then he felt something pulling on his carrot. Look, Mommy! Oh, my goodness, it is a rabbit! Bunny! I told you I saw him. Oh. Be careful, <laughs> he doesn't know you. Snowball. So this is where you're hiding. Is this your rabbit, Mr. Hinkle? No, it's mine. I'm Nancy. I'm visiting my brother here, and somehow Snowball escaped from his cage. We've been looking everywhere for this little Wee! guy. Would you like to pat Snowball? Oh, well, I guess that solves the case of the disappearing carrots. And I found a lost bunny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Caillou marches on. I'm ready, Daddy! Thank you, Caillou. Caillou liked the sound of the wind in the leaves. Okay, let's go. It's such a nice day, I thought I'd walk you over to Clementine's instead of taking the car. <laughs> Caillou. Hi. Hello. Okay, Caillou. I'll see you at dinner time. Bye. Clementine is playing in her room. Why don't you go up and surprise her? But when he got to the top of the stairs, Caillou heard an unusual sound. What could it be? What is Billy doing? Billy's practicing on his tuba, so we have to be very quiet. <laughs> Caillou and Clementine tried really hard not to make any noise. <laughs> hey, Caillou, come on in. I bet you've never seen a tuba before. Sure! To play, I blow in here like this. Caillou was very impressed. <laughs> I want to try! Okay, but it's not as easy as it looks. was frustrated that he couldn't make sounds like Billy. It takes a lot of practice to be a musician. I play in a marching band at school. My friends are on their way here to practice. A marching band? Oh, yes, I've seen them. They march around and they play music at the same time. Look, all the music notes are written on the paper. 
That way, I remember what to play. Caillou was very impressed that Billy could play music by reading notes on a piece of paper. Play some more music, Billy, please. Okay, but my friends will be here soon. Want to play a music game until they get here? I'll play a high note. And you try to reach for the ceiling. Or I play a low note. <laughs> and you try to go as low as you can, okay? Now you guys go up and down as I play. Look how far down I can go! <laughs> <laughs> it's a high one. I can reach way up. Higher. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, your friends are in the backyard. Gotta go. See you guys later. Caillou was having a great time playing the high and low game. He didn't want to stop. I'll get it. Hey. No. Bah, bah. Let me try. Clementine, Caillou was using that. Come on, you two. I've got an idea. <laughs> would you two like some cookies? <laughs> and would you like milk or juice? Did you say you wanted vinegar? Well, okay then. No! Milk, please! <laughs> ah, Billy's band is starting to practice. Maybe you can listen to them after your snack. Caillou couldn't wait to hear all the musicians play together. It's fascinated by the trumpet and the drum. We can play music, too. Sorry, but it's really difficult for the band to get together and practice. We have to be the only ones playing. Caillou was very disappointed. He wanted to play with the band. But we are going to practice marching. You can march with us if you want to. Okay, let's practice the steps. One, two, three, four, and... Come on, Caillou, let's march. He said it's time for dinner soon. Time to go. Caillou wasn't ready to go home yet. He wanted to keep marching. Look! Oh, no! My sheet music! There it is! Catch it! Caillou. I couldn't play without this. Caillou felt very proud that he helped Billy. Since the band has to march, and we're walking Caillou home, why don't we all march together? Well, what do you say, guys? We do have to practice marching and playing at the same time. Then let's go! Yay! And you two can play your horns. Caillou was excited to march all the way home with the band. Hello. Caillou, what's all this? We brought you some music, Daddy. It nearly got away, but I caught it. <laughs> Who's mooing? Caillou was excited because he was going on a picnic with his family. We're going on a picnic. We're going on a picnic. Rosie is sleeping. Oh. Come on, let's get our seatbelts on because we're going on a picnic. <laughs> 
After a while of playing quietly, Caillou started to feel it was taking a very long time to get to the picnic. Are we there yet, Mommy? It's still a little bit further, sweetie. <coughs> Mommy, look! Cows! Can we go see the cows? Can we? What do you say we have our picnic right over there? Sure, why not? Caillou had not seen cows very often. He was excited to see them up close. Hi, cows! <laughs> Look who's awake! <laughs> Rosie wanted to watch the cows like Caillou did, but it was difficult to climb. Need a hand, Rosie? Up you go! I want to go up, too. Okay. What are the cows saying? I think in their own special way, they're saying hello. Caillou loved watching the cows. Rosie hungry. Well then, time for lunch. Take your time, Caillou. We've got all afternoon. I want to go see the cow some more. Just a minute, I'll go with you. I'll bring along your plane. We can play later. Rosie, do you want to go see the cows with Mommy? <laughs> okay, just finish your apple first. Caillou, can I try your airplane? Okay. Hooray! Good, Daddy. I'll get it. Thank you, Daddy. Yay! Honest, I was just leaving. Goodbye. Be careful! There! Thanks. That was close. Phew. Anybody thirsty? I have a special treat. It was one of Caillou's favorites. Chocolate milk. How do you like it, Caillou? <laughs> Moo! <laughs> What's this? It means I love it. Moo! <laughs> Me too! Moo! <laughs> Follow that sound. One snowy evening, Grandma was having a visit with Caillou and Rosie. Honk! Honk! <laughs> vroom! Vroom! Does your vroom. nose honk, Rosie? Vroom. Honk! Honk! Vroom! <laughs> What was that? Maybe it's a monster! Uh-oh! Caillou knew there wasn't really a monster, but it was fun to imagine one. Oh, I don't think a monster could fit under there. The snowplow! Caillou loved the snowplow and all the neat sounds it made. Vroom, vroom. And all the clowns danced out of the circus tent, ready for the big parade. There's that squeaky sound again. But now it's squeaking and thumping, and it's coming from over there. Maybe it's a dinosaur. I'll go check. Caillou was imagining he was following the tracks of a dinosaur. Well, hello there. I'm following a dinosaur, Mommy. And it's down there! Maybe Daddy can help you. You have company coming! Good luck! Caillou couldn't hear the squeaky sound anymore, but then he heard another sound. Did you hear that squeaky sound, Daddy? You mean the drill? Was it sandpaper? Was it my hammer? Now the sound went squeak and rattle, rattle. It sounds like it's moving upstairs. You'd better go and check. And with that,
Caillou ran upstairs to follow that sound. He didn't know where to look next, but then he heard some very familiar sounds down the hall and knew just who to ask. Have you found your dinosaur yet? Dinosaur? I thought it was a monster. It could be a spaceship. A monster, a dinosaur, a spaceship? What kind of sound could that be? <laughs> Come on, follow me. Caillou couldn't believe it. There wasn't anybody in his room but Gilbert. How could Gilbert have been making such a strange sound? Why, that's one of Rosie's old baby toys. Gilbert must have got it out of the bath toy pail. Well, now we know what squeaks and rattles and thumps, don't we, Caillou? Gilbert! Music box. Caillou? Mommy! How did you get all tangled up in my coat? I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing, Mommy? I'm gonna put uh, all these things up in the attic. I'll help you. Okay. You carry this hat. Thank you, Caillou. Caillou liked coming to the attic because it was full of surprises. Look, Mommy! I'd completely forgotten about those. This was my music box when I was little. Caillou liked the music that came out of the music box. <gasps> and this was my favorite bear. The bear has a hole in its head. You want to help me fix it? Hmm. There. Now he's a pirate bear. Caillou found that the bear was more fun since the music box didn't play music anymore. I'm a pirate. Me, Caillou. No, Rosie. Rosie, come here. I have something for you. Here comes the pirate ship. That was the music box playing. I want to play with the music box. Mine. You want this? No. You want my pirate ship? No. You can play with my pirate bear if you want. Rosie really liked the bear. So she decided to let Caillou have the music box in exchange. Now that the music box had stopped playing, Caillou wanted his bear back. Here, Rosie. You can play with the music box. No! I want my pirate bear! Mine! What's going on? I want my bear back. The music box is broken. Let me see the music box. Look, if you turn this key and open the music box, it starts playing. Why don't you and Rosie take turns playing with it? Caillou was not happy taking turns. He wanted to play with the music box and the bear. <laughs> oh, what have we here? Oh, pirates. Have you found a treasure? Box. Pirate Bear is guarding it. Okay. Caillou and Rosie had <laughs> decided to play pirates together. Daddy! <laughs> My daddy shows me how to do lots of neat stuff. We like skating, except it's not that easy at first. Wow! <laughs> and sometimes daddy acts silly. <laughs> but he always knows how to take care of us. When I grow up, I want to be just like my daddy. 
Caillou's Gym Day. It was a beautiful day, so Caillou and his mommy were taking a walk to go mail some letters. I'll race you to the mailbox. <laughs> hey, you didn't say go! Hi, Andre. Want to race? I can't. I'm going to my gym class. Why doesn't Caillou come too? I could bring him back to your house after. Well, I don't see why not. How about it? Do you want to go? Hi there. This is Caillou. Would you like to join the class? Caillou felt shy. Um, okay. But he still wanted to try. Everybody, this is Caillou. Hi, Caillou! Okay, everyone. We're gonna start off with some stretches. So reach your arms up to the ceiling. Mm, I'm touching the sky. Now, stretch to one side, then the other. That's it. And touch your toes. Andre, <laughs> look at me. Now, make big circles with your arms. Caillou was really trying, but it was hard to do the exercises. When I hit this drum, I want you to stomp your feet like this. Ready? Go. Look. One, two, one, two. Caillou tried again. He wanted to show the teacher he could do it. I did it! Okay, everyone. It's time to try the next exercise. Leapfrog. <laughs> one person bends down, head tucked in, and the other jumps over. Ribbit. I'm a frog. I'm gonna try. Leaping over Andre was not easy. Caillou was a little bit discouraged. <gasps> try again. This time, Andre, keep your head really tucked in. Go on, Caillou. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Good class, everyone. See you next time. Thanks for coming, Caillou. Play gym class. <laughs> I want to be the gym teacher. You can be a frog. Caillou was having fun pretending to be the gym teacher. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. Andre, it's time to go home. You did it. Caillou was very proud to have completed the leapfrog all by himself. It made him feel confident. Bye, Andre. Why are you wearing the whistle? I'm a gym teacher. <coughs> Our rocket ship. because he and his best friend, Leo, had decided they were going to play rocket ship all day. Are we going to the park now? You bet we are. Bye, Caillou. Bye, Rosie. Bye. Park ahead. Yay! Way to go, Rosie. My rocket ship flies faster than yours. No, mine does. Coming in for a landing. I'm landing too. This is a space station. Yeah! <laughs> Seeing Caillou and Leo having so much fun, Rosie decided she wanted to play too. I'm sure she didn't mean to. Me too. Ooh. No, Rosie. Caillou was very upset. He knew Rosie wanted to help, but she kept undoing everything. Uh, Daddy, Rosie can't play with our space station. Okay. 
Maybe Rosie is too little to help with your space station. Rosie, want to play catch with me? Catch! Okay, let's go. Yay! <laughs> Lots of rocket ships here. Come on, you two. Time to go. Do we have to? It's time for Rosie's nap. Caillou thought it was unfair they had to leave because of Rosie's nap. I want to play with Leo. You can play with Leo at home. We can build another space station at your place. Okay. Come on, Daddy. Hurry. Rosie did not want to have a nap. She wanted to go and play with her big brother, Caillou. Okay, Rosie, nap time. to have to play quietly just because Rosie was having her nap. They are loud. Hmm. But after blast off, what happens when you're out in space? I don't know. Me neither. Well, if I were in space, I'd put on my spacesuit and go out into space for a spacewalk. Hold on. You forgot to put on your spacesuits. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's go! This way! Hmm. What do we have here? We're in space! Okay, you two, float to Planet Daddy! I'm returning to base. Okay, Space Mommy! Hey! What are you two doing? <laughs> We're landing on Planet no. Daddy. Yeah. Bet you didn't know there was a tickle monster on Planet Daddy, did you? <laughs> Planet Daddy? Where could that be? Hi, Mr. Hinkle. Hi, boys. You know, I just got a new refrigerator, and it came in this big box. I think it'd make a great spaceship, if you're interested. Wow. A spaceship. Should we make the top here? We need a door. There you go, Caillou. Hmm. What do you say we put the tail fin here? Do it. Me too. There. Now all we have to do is decorate it. Wow, the rocket ship looks great. Rosie felt she had been left out of all the fun Leo and Caillou were having. She wanted to play with the rocket ship too. Me too. Caillou didn't want Rosie scribbling on the rocket ship. He was starting to get annoyed with her. No, Rosie. Caillou, that isn't a very nice way to treat Rosie. She's just trying to help. She's wrecking the spaceship. Maybe there's a different way Rosie can help. I have an idea how we can make something for the rocket ship that Caillou's going to love. We'll need this. Can we go in it now? Are you finished? Uh-huh. Are you sure? I think it needs a flag. Rosie made it. Thank you, Rosie. Caillou was very impressed by her beautiful flag. And Rosie was Yay! very happy she <laughs> finally got to help with the <laughs> rocket ship. <laughs> we can put it on top. Great idea. I think we're ready for our first flight. Rosie, ready too. Caillou, 
You can sit here, Rosie. Prepare for blast off! <laughs> Seat belts on. Five, four, three, two, one! Blast off! Rocket! And so Leo, Caillou, <laughs> and their special flag maker, Rosie, blasted off into space. Caillou helps Grandpa. Caillou was impatient to get to Grandma and Grandpa's house. Today, Caillou, his daddy, and Grandpa were going skating. We're almost there. Why don't you try to walk in my footprints? <laughs> Hi, Grandpa! Hi! Hi, you two! Would you look at all this snow? If we're gonna drive to the skating rink, I think we need to clear this driveway first. Well, let's get to work then. How about it, Caillou? Caillou saw how much snow there was. He wanted to help. Good. The more help we have, the faster the work will get done. There are extra shovels in the house. Caillou thought it was hard work to keep up. That's good. Keep going. Uh, Daddy, help! It's stuck! Pull hard. Uh, uh, uh. Ow! Caillou had another idea of how he could help. I'm going to work here. <laughs> hey, here comes some more. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Time out. If we want to get to that skating rink, we'd better get back to work. I think I'll start on the walkway. What's this? Can I have it, Grandpa? Sure, be my guest. Caillou discovered that the flower pot was very useful to carry snow and that it was great to build snow castles. Daddy, come see what I made. Look at the castles. Wow. Caillou was proud that his grandpa and daddy liked his castles. They're the biggest castles ever. the lot, Grandma. He sure did a good job. <sighs> what about skating? You should probably head out soon. How about we skate tomorrow, Caillou? Caillou? Caillou was too busy to answer because he heard something outside. Wow! More snow! I can make snow castles again! <sighs> Yard bowlers. Hi, Grandma. Hello, Caillou. Caillou's mommy had just dropped him and Rosie off to spend the afternoon with Grandma and Grandpa. What's that? It's Grandpa's old bowling trophy. He won this prize for being the best player. Yep, I used to be quite the bowler in my day. Come on, I think I still have my bowling ball here somewhere. It was the most unusual ball Caillou had ever seen. Careful, it's heavy. Caillou wondered how anyone could play a game with such a heavy ball. Can you show me how to play? Sure, Caillou, but first we need to get a few things that are more your size. Looks like we've got everything. Caillou was very curious to see how this game would work. Me too! Okay, Rosie. Grandpa will show you how to bowl too. That looks perfect. 
This will be our bowling alley. Me too. Come on, Rosie. You can help set up the pins. <laughs> you put them like this. See, Rosie? I think we're ready to bowl. Bowling was a lot of fun. Rosie, too. Telephone, it's for you. Okay, dear. Now that you're such a good bowler, maybe you can show Rosie how to play while I'm gone. Caillou was proud that Grandpa thought he was good at bowling. Okay, Rosie, roll the ball over there. Try again. Caillou and Rosie were both getting frustrated. I know. Move closer. <laughs> Yay! Caillou! Rosie! Time for a snack! Wow! It looks as good as new. And here's a couple of special trophies for my champion bowlers. And yours is also for being so good at helping your sister. Caillou felt very proud. Thank you, Grandma. Hello. Hi, Mommy. We played bowling. Mommy, see. Bowling? Who taught you how to do that? Grandpa showed me, and I showed Rosie. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I use milk run. Cereal, Daddy! Hey there, sleepyhead. Uh. <sighs> or should I say sleepy heads? Caillou thought it was funny that everyone was yawning, too. It was catching. Daddy's Diner is now open for breakfast, and we're taking special requests on this fine morning. So, what's it gonna be, young man? Cereal, please. Me, me, me! And for the lovely lady, may I suggest some scrambled <laughs> cocos? <laughs> You're silly, Daddy. And would the little boy get the moo milk from the fridge, s'il vous plaît? I want to pour. Oh, no. Whoops. The only one happy about Caillou's accident was Gilbert. Milk? Sorry, Rosie, but there's no more milk left for your cereal. It's okay, Rosie. We'll make you some eggs. <laughs> Or, or how about some toast with honey? The only thing that Rosie wanted was a bowl of cereal. Caillou felt bad. He didn't mean to spill the milk. Then he remembered where he could get more milk. We can go get more milk at the store. That's a great idea, Caillou. Let's get dressed. Can you pick up some bread while you're at it? I'll get Rosie to eat something else in the meantime. You're walking too fast. Mommy, look! Caillou thought the drawing was even more beautiful now that it was a happy sun. Thank you! Slow down, Caillou. <laughs> you didn't say red light. loved playing this game with his mommy so much that they decided to play it all the way home. Green light. Red light, mommy. We're home. 
Caillou was proud to have helped by bringing back some milk. He was looking forward to a good bowl of cereal. Cereal, too! You're still hungry after everything you ate? Ready? Green light! Sister and I love her. We play games together a lot. And we have fun. I get to show her things I like. And sometimes I help take care of her. Because I'm her big brother. Dancing at Grandma's. Caillou was frustrated because Grandma had promised to take him to the park, and now they couldn't go. <sighs> What's the matter, Caillou? It's not fair. I want to go to the park. Well, if the weather clears up, we can go later. Why don't you help me dry these? Oh, okay, Grandma. After they finished drying the dishes, Caillou went to play with his car. Caillou was very curious about the pictures inside the book. I see you found my photo album, Caillou. Who's that, Grandma? That's your grandpa and me when we were young. <laughs> That's not you and Grandpa. <laughs> Yes, it is. Your grandpa and I used to dance a lot. Oh, I'll get it. The night that picture was taken, there was a big contest. This is the ribbon we won. Wow! Caillou was very impressed. Do you want me to show you how to dance? Yeah! I can win first prize, too! This was one of our favorite songs. Look, Grandma! <laughs> I'm dancing! That's good, Caillou. Here, come and take my hands. All you have to do is listen to the music. See? Oops! <laughs> Again! Caillou loved dancing with Grandma. He was having a lot of fun. Watch this, Grandma! I think you just made up a new dance. <laughs> For being such a good dancer, you win first prize. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh. <laughs> Hello? Grandpa! We're in here, dear. Hi, you two. It looks like someone's been getting dance lessons. Me. Oh, that's great! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll get it! Hi, everyone. Oh, can you believe how the rain cleared up? Caillou was having so much fun dancing that he didn't even notice that it had stopped raining. Look! I got first prize for dancing! <laughs> May I have this dance? Mystery Valentine. Valentine's Day. <sighs> Caillou was excited when he remembered that Leo was having a Valentine's party today. I'm going to make Valentine's cards. That's right. You could bring them to Leo's party to give to your friends. And they'll give you cards, too. Mommy explained 
that Valentine's Day was a day to show people how much you cared about them. This shirt is perfect. Red, the color of love. I want to make a heart. Okay, we'll do it together. Work, Caillou. Now you can decorate it and choose who it's for. Caillou tried to decide who he would give the Valentine card to. This one's for Clementine. She likes stars. Where's the glue? Hmm, that's funny. I'm sure it was here somewhere. <laughs> Here's the glue. We're all done with it. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou worked very hard at making special valentines for his friends. I'm finished, Mommy. I made one for Leo and Clementine and Xavier and Emma. The cards look wonderful, Caillou. I'm sure they'll all be very happy. Hmm. You better put your coat on. We're gonna be late. Caillou couldn't wait to get to Leo's party. The Valentines! Here you go, Caillou. I put them in a bag for you. You. Thank you. Have a good time. When Caillou got to Leo's house, all he could think about was giving the cards to his friends. Did you give out the Valentines yet? No, we're waiting for you. Caillou, Caillou, come on. Okay, does everybody have their Valentines ready? Yeah! Then go ahead and give them out. This one's for you, Clementine. Happy Valentine's Day. Wow, it's pretty. I made it. That one's me, and that's you. <laughs> Here, Caillou. It's nice. Caillou was glad his friends liked his valentines. Did you give all of yours up? Huh? Caillou hadn't seen that valentine before. I didn't make this one. Hey! Hmm, it's for you. It has your name on it. But Caillou had already received a valentine from everyone. Did someone give Caillou two valentines? Caillou wondered who made him the card. Looks like someone gave you a mystery valentine. Caillou was impressed by all the sparkles on the cookies, and they were delicious, too. But he was still wondering who the mystery valentine was from. Your mom will be here soon, Caillou. Why don't you take a few cookies home? Thanks! Bye! Mommy, did you give me this one? No, I didn't make it. You don't know who it's from? Well, that's quite a mystery. We'll have to investigate at home. Caillou was determined to figure out who the mystery valentine was from. Daddy! Daddy! Is it from you? No, it's not from me. Why don't we look for some clues? 
There's a clue. A cat's paw print. Gilbert! It's from Gilbert! <laughs> I don't think Gilbert could make a card. But Gilbert must have been watching the person who was painting the card. Now Caillou was really puzzled. He had no idea who made him the valentine. Are you sure you thought of everyone, Caillou? I think there's someone you forgot. <laughs> Rosie! Rosie, did you make this card for me? Rosie, do it. <laughs> <laughs> we worked hard on that secret valentine, didn't we, Rosie? Thanks! Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> I have something for you, Rosie! Yummy! Sticky! Thank you, Caillou. Thank you, Caillou. Rosie, too! That's because my team is called the Tigers. Let's go, team! Caillou was very excited to go see his daddy playing baseball. Are we going to cheer for daddy, Caillou? Yeah! Look! Daddy's the one with the bat! getting bored just watching the game. Aww. Caillou, Daddy's over on the bench now. Why don't you go see him? Can I hit the ball, Daddy? These bats are too big and heavy for you. But after the game, we'll use your bat, okay? Okay, Daddy. Caillou was very happy to be part of Daddy's team. Can I have a tiger shirt, too? Hey, I've got just the thing for you, Caillou. You can get this sewn onto your T-shirt. The crest made Caillou feel very special. Ooh, I'm thirsty. Want some water, too? I can do it. Caillou was excited to see his daddy scoring a run. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Caillou. You're a pretty good water boy. What's a water boy? The person in charge of giving water to thirsty people. Oh. We're winning, Caillou. Look, Mommy! Very nice tiger! Can we play baseball now? We sure can! <gasps> Yay! Caillou! I win! Caillou was very proud to have scored a run for the tigers. Where did the ball go? <laughs> Rosie's on the tiger team, too. <laughs> Dog sled ahead. Come on, Caillou. It's cold outside. Don't you like your new snowsuit? 
I don't want to wear it. Caillou liked his old snowsuit better. I think you're going to need it when we go tobogganing. Caillou was so excited to go tobogganing that he couldn't stand still. <laughs> wait to slide down a really big hill. Come on, Caillou, we're ready to go. <laughs> Hold on tight. Nay! <laughs> Nay! Whoa! Caillou enjoyed watching everyone sliding down the hill. He noticed all kinds of people and all kinds of different toboggans. Some of them were very funny. <laughs> I want to slide down Yay! the hill, too. Okay, Caillou, but before sliding down, we have to climb up. Me, too. Whoa! Caillou was determined to get to the top of the hill. the hill was a long way down. Don't worry, Caillou. It'll be lots of fun. And if we go too fast, I can use my feet like brakes. Ready? Go! grew more excited as the toboggan picked up speed. <laughs> We're almost at the finish line. Whoa! Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> Did we win the race, Daddy? No, we went faster, but Mommy and Rosie got to the finish line first. Come on, let's go again. I want to win! Sure. Let's take a look. Caillou had never seen a dog pulling a sled before. Hi! Ha! 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 He was impressed by the way the dog followed the commands. Well, that's it for today, folks. Oh. Oh. Hi there. What's your name? Hi, you. I'm Tom, and this is Chinook. She's a husky dog, and she loves the snow. Caillou was fascinated by Chinook. See? Chinook's fur is like your snowsuit. It keeps her warm when she's pulling the sled through the snow. Caillou noticed that Chinook's sled was different from his. I have a sled. And a nice one, too. But Chinook pulls a special kind of sled. Say, Caillou, would you like to take a ride with Chinook? Caillou felt a bit scared. He'd never been in a dog sled before. Don't worry. I'm sure Chinook will be very careful. Does your little sister want to come along for a ride, too? Caillou! Come on, Rosie. You can sit with me. Encouraging Rosie made Caillou feel better, too. He felt safer now that they were riding together. Let's tell Chinook we're ready to go. Hike! Hike! Hike. <laughs> Caillou felt like he was driving the sled. <laughs> now I'll tell her to turn left. Paw!
Now you can tell her to stop. Say, whoa. Whoa. Try a little louder. Whoa! Yay! Caillou was happy that Chinook listened to him. Chinook and I have to go home now, but I'm sure she'd love it if you gave her a pat on the head, since she did such a great job. Bye, Chinook. Hike! Bye! Caillou wished Chinook was coming home with him. dog like Chinook? No. It would be nice to get a ride home with her, but you'll have to settle for the car today. Come on, in you go. Hike! Caillou, you should take off your snowsuit first. You'll be hot. No, I want to wear it. Caillou liked his new snowsuit so much now, he didn't want to take it off. Besides, Caillou couldn't wait to play sled dog. And since he didn't have a dog, he tried something else. Gilbert, you can be the sled cat. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you listen. Good sled cat, Gilbert. to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Sleepover guest. Roar! Roar! Caillou and Leo were playing dinosaurs. Roar! 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 Did you like your brontosaurus pie? Roar! <laughs> All right, you two dinosaurs can go play now. But remember, Leo's being picked up soon. Can't Leo stay longer, please? <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's getting late. Bedtime soon. <laughs> can Leo sleep over? It's all right with me. What do you think? Sure. As long as it's okay with Leo's parents. Yay! Okay. Good night, Mommy. Good night, Daddy. I can stay! Yay! <laughs> It'll be like going camping, Leo. You could sleep right here beside Caillou. I like camping. Snug as a bug. Caillou thought that camping out on the floor looked like fun. I want to sleep in the sleeping bag. No, I like the sleeping bag. Leo's the guest, honey. He gets first pick. Roar! <laughs> Roar! Here are some towels for you and a nice new toothbrush for Leo. I want a new toothbrush, too. Sorry, pal, we've only got one new one. Leo can use my toothbrush. Sharing toothbrushes isn't a good idea. Leo's the guest, and he gets the new toothbrush. Caillou thought it wasn't fair that his sleepover guest was getting all the special things. I want my tiger pajamas. You can borrow a pair of Caillou's pajamas for tonight. I always sleep in my tiger pajamas. I want to go home. Caillou was upset to see Leo sad. He wanted to make him feel better. 
You can have my dinosaur pajamas. That's very nice of you, Caillou. Are you going to be all right, Leo? Caillou and Leo had found a way to both wear the dinosaur pajamas. <laughs> hey, I like those wild PJs. Time for bed. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Leo. See you in the morning. Good night, Daddy. <laughs> now Caillou and Leo were both camping together. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Games in the Park. Ready, Rosie? <laughs> Caillou could hardly wait because Miss Martin was taking him and his friends to the park. Hi, Caillou! Caillou! Hi, Leo! Hi, Clementine! Bye, Mommy! Me too! You'll see Caillou later, sweetie. Bye, Caillou! Bye, honey. All right, let's go. Here we are. Mara, Clementine, Xavier, Emma, Caillou, Leo. I have a new game for you. Caillou was curious and excited. Miss Martin's new games were always fun. I'm going to win. No, I'm going to win. Race ya. Everyone, come over here, please. Does anybody want to play a new game? Yeah, me yeah. too. Me too. Good. Today we're going to play in teams. You're going to be on my team. We don't know the teams yet. That's a surprise. I'll pull the names out of here to choose the teams. Okay? Yeah. Yes. The first team will be Xavier and Emma. Leo and Clementine. Caillou was disappointed that his best friend Leo was not on the same team. Mara and Caillou. We're going to have a beanbag race. Each team gets one beanbag. Clementine, Xavier, will make a great starting line. Thanks, Leo. Thanks, Clementine. How do you play? Here's how the beanbag race works. You take turns with your teammate to carry it, and the first beanbag to come back to the finish line wins. <laughs> I'm gonna win. We'll see. Mara, Clementine, and Emma, go wait at the tree over there. Once you get your beanbag from your partner, you race back. <laughs> Fast! I can run faster! Okay, boys. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> come on, Caillou! Caillou, come back! Caillou was concentrating so hard that he forgot to give Mara the bean bag. So the winners are the yellow beanbag team, Clementine and Leo. We, we win! win! We win! Caillou 
felt bad that they had lost because of him. Let's race again! Sure. Caillou liked the idea he would get another chance to win. Yeah! And this time we'll win! Yeah! yeah! Look what I can do! Wow! That could be part of our next race. Any other ideas? We can push the beanbags down the slide. Good idea. So first, beanbags will go down the slide. Then the partner walks the rim of the sandbox and comes back to the finish line. Yay! Yay! Girls start this time. Boys, you go wait at the end of the slide. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> It wasn't so easy after all. But Caillou was determined to do it. I did it! The green beanbag team comes in first. Emma and Xavier win this time. Caillou was proud to have crossed the sandbox. He didn't care about winning the race so much anymore. <laughs> you all did very well in the beanbag race. I have a surprise. I thought you might like beanbags of your own. Jelly beans were definitely Caillou's favorite kind of bean. And he knew someone else who just loved them. <laughs> oh, she won! First we have to race. I need your ball, and you go to your toy box, okay? Caillou wanted to show Rosie the new game he learned. You say go! Oh, okay. Go! <laughs> go give the ball to Mommy! <laughs> we win! <laughs> Our team wins! Yay! Some for you. And some for me. Some for you. Thank you. That was a fun race. Shall we do it again? We can't. Why not? <laughs> there are no more jelly beans to win. <laughs> The Sugar Shack. Jonas had invited Caillou's family for a visit at the ranch. <laughs> Caillou liked the sound the sleigh bells made when the horses moved. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Look, there's a bucket on that tree. That's right. Let's go check it out. Water, but it's sap from inside the maple tree. See? It comes out here. Caillou was surprised that something like that could come out of a tree. Want to taste some? Oh, is he too? We can make great things from sap. What things? All kinds of great treats, like maple syrup, maple sugar. Oh, Yay! and maple butter. <laughs> mm. First, we need to collect some sap. I want to help. Okay, partner. Can you carry this to the sleigh? Can I do it? Sure. Go ahead. Great job. Let's bring the sap back to the sugar shack and turn it into maple goodies. Look at this. It's become maple syrup. Wow! Caillou couldn't believe it. All the watery maple sap was now thick maple syrup. Can I taste it? It's really too hot right now. Besides, I need to boil it longer for a surprise. I sure could use some help with this special table outside. 
Sure. I'll get right to it. Me too. Ozzy too. That's great, Caillou. We'll be done in no time. Nice and flat now. <laughs> Perfect. Stay back. This is very hot. Why are you pouring that on the snow? The snow cools it off. This is my favorite treat of all. It's maple toffee. Try this, partner. Mmm, this is the best maple toffee I've ever tasted. My turn! Ozzy, too! Mmm! Mmm, yum! What a treat! Do you want some help there, Caillou? Caillou was determined to get the toffee by himself. He couldn't wait to taste it. Winter Mystery. Bye, Caillou. Wait for me, Daddy. Caillou? <laughs> We're not done yet. Done. The strong wind had knocked the bird feeder down during the night. Daddy was fixing it. There we go. All fixed up. We can fill it. I can do it. Good job. The birds will love it. Where are they? They'll return as soon as their house is back in place. See? Some of them have been here already. They left tracks. Caillou was surprised that birds could make prints in the snow. You have visitors, Caillou. They're coming around the side of the house. Caillou was happy to see the twins. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Jason. Make sure you stay in the yard where we can see you. Okay. Look, bird tracks. I can make bigger tracks. <laughs> Let's play follow the leader. Follow me. Ready, go. <laughs> Caillou was curious about these new tracks. They were smaller than his own, but bigger than the bird prints. Let's follow these tracks. They're gone. Caillou wanted to know where the prints went. They stop here? Let's play snow tag. You're it. <laughs> made the snow fall like that. A squirrel! <laughs> He's leaving! Look! He made the tracks! Caillou was delighted to have solved the mystery of the vanishing tracks. He wants to play! Wait for us! Jeffrey and Jason were getting tired of trying to keep up with their energetic new friend. Let's make angels. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Look. The squirrel is making angels too. And so Caillou, Jeffrey, and Jason decided to make more angels. <laughs> which were beautiful. Caillou Snow Day. Caillou loved snow. He couldn't wait to go outside to play in it. Look at all the snow! Snow! How about after breakfast, I give you two a ride to the big park on your sled? Yay! Mommy? 
I'll try. Hold on. Oh, sorry. I can't. The snow is too deep and you guys are heavy. I want to help. Andre was one of Caillou's older friends. It was hard for Caillou to climb up the big snow pile. Look at me. I'm the king of the castle. Uh, look at me. Caillou liked standing at the top all by himself. He could see everywhere in the park. Okay. We can make a snow fort. Uh, yeah! Uh, uh. Although Caillou was not sure how to build a snow fort, he thought it was a great idea. Let's put yours on top. It'll make our fort higher. Caillou wanted to show Andre. He could help, too. Wow! Careful! Just don't push so hard. Try over there. Wow. Yay! There. Now we need snowballs. To throw at the bad guys, right? Hello! Sarah! Hi! Hi. Can I play too? Yeah. You could be the bad guy. Hey, no fair. I wasn't ready. <laughs> Time out. We're out of snowballs. Want to make the fort higher? What a nice snow fort. Can we help too? Uh-huh. Rosie? Caillou thought this was the best snow day ever. <laughs> Grandma, <laughs> we have loads of fun together. Like bird watching with real birds. Grandma's real good at arts and crafts. And we love playing music. I love staying over at Grandma's house. Super Caillou. Mommy! Can you read me Super Bear? I'm sorry, but I can't. Maybe Daddy. Okay. Daddy! Can you read me Super Bear? Please? Again? Well, I guess the vacuuming can wait a little bit. The Fantastic Adventures of Super Bear. Yay! One day, Super Bear was walking in the park when all of a sudden he saw Bad Bazoo Bear. Stealing apples! That's right. No, I will never give back the apples. Give them back! <laughs> <laughs> then Bad Bazoo tried to run away. Caught you. <laughs> Super Bear never lets him get away. That's right. It's Super Bear to the rescue. Da da da. He saves the apples and saves the day. The end. Yay, Super Bear. Read it again, Daddy. Again, again. I'd like to, Caillou, but I have the vacuuming to finish. liked looking at his favorite book and pretending that he could read the words. Super Bear went to the forest one day and he met Little Bear. <laughs> Bad Bazoo came and tried to steal apples and Super Bear and Little Bear caught him. The end. End. Come on, Rosie. Let's play Super Bear. Super Bear needs a cape. Me! Da da da! We're Super Bear and Little Bear. <laughs> Quick, hi! It's Bad Bazoo. <laughs> Caillou 
was pretending that Gilbert was bad bazoo. We have to get him. Here we come. Come back. <laughs> We're going to catch you, bad bazoo. <laughs> Can Super Bear and Little Bear have cookies? Uh, you sure can. In one minute. I can't find my car keys. If I don't get to the post office soon, it's going to close. Super Bear will find them? Da-da-da! -da! Here they are. Thanks, Caillou. You're my superhero. Me too? <laughs> yes, you do, sweetie. Trip on the subway. Caillou was excited. He was going to his friend Clementine's house to play with her. Okay, bye. Clementine's mommy wants to talk to you. Hi. <laughs> no, no, that's not a problem. I'll drop Rosie off and then drive Caillou over. All right, bye. Can we go to Clementine's now, Mommy? As soon as I finish writing my letter, okay? Caillou was disappointed. He didn't like waiting. Caillou! <laughs> See you later, honey. I've got to get going. Are you taking the car? Yes. Can you drop Caillou off at Clementine's? Well, sorry, it's too far out of my way. I'd be late. Can you drop Rosie at Grandma's? Well, yes, but we have to leave right away. Whee! Mm. Bye, Bye, Rosie. Bye. Who's going to take me to Clementine's house? You and I are going to take the subway to go to Clementine's. What's a subway? The subway is like a train, but it goes in a tunnel under the ground. Caillou had been on a train before, and he liked trains a lot. Hold on to Mommy's hand when we go down the escalator. Okay, Caillou? Okay. Caillou liked the escalator. It did all the moving. All they had to do was just stand there. Ready? Jump! Whoa! <laughs> oh! Mommy, can I do that too? Can I have some money, please? Okay. Let me see if I can find some. It was as though the lady was playing her music just for Caillou. I'm going on the subway. Well then, you're going to need a ticket, aren't you? Look, Mommy. It's stuck. Maybe your ticket can get it unstuck. Bar still stuck? No. Look, I got another ticket. You can keep that ticket as a souvenir, Caillou. Yay! Caillou was so impressed with the turnstile that he wanted to try it again. to go again. <laughs> you need a new ticket each time you go through. <laughs> I'll do it. Here, Mommy. Why don't you hold on to it for me? Okay. Caillou was enjoying himself. He liked 
this underground train station. Mommy showed Caillou the map of the subway. It showed all the places the train went. Where are we, Mommy? We're here, and that's where we're going. One dot, two dots, three dots. Look, Mommy, little maps. You could take one and keep it, Caillou. Can I take one for Clementine, too? I think that's a great idea. Caillou was impressed with all the presents he was getting at the underground station. We have to stay behind this yellow line until the train comes. Your attention, please. Green Line train arriving on Platform 7. Caillou thought that the person making the loud announcement must be very tall. Mommy! It's okay, Caillou. That hot wind means the train is coming. Do you hear it? Uh-huh. Caillou found the noise and rush of the incoming train a little frightening. Caillou's fears disappeared when he saw the brightly colored trains. One stop. I want to sit there. Caillou. You have to wait until the train stops before switching seats, sweetie. Look at me, Mommy! Look at me! I'm going backwards! And I'm going sideways! <laughs> Two stops! Caillou thought that the subway was pretty neat. Clementine. Hi, come on in. <laughs> I can drive you and Caillou back home if you'd like. Mommy, please. I want to go on the subway again. I guess we'll take the subway home. Let's go, Mommy. We just got here. Don't you want to play with Clementine? Oh. <laughs> for you, Clementine. You want to play subway train? Okay. The map shows the dot where we got on the subway. Want to see it? Right there. This way. Caillou liked the subway so much, he wanted to travel on it all the time. Caillou's Race. My turn. <laughs> Gilbert, you can't play. One, two, three. Vroom! 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 Caillou really wanted to win. He thought he should play again so that he would finish first. Hey there, it's my turn. <laughs> Five. Uh-oh, looks like I'm about to finish. Caillou did not want to lose. No, you can go five the other way. Sorry, Caillou, but the rules of the game are to go forward. So, I'm finished. Beep, beep, I won. I wanted to win. You won the last game, and now I won, so it's even. Do you want to play another game? Caillou was upset that he lost the game. He didn't want to play again. Caillou, play? Maybe Caillou needs a bit of time alone right now. After a while, Caillou thought of a new game. Hi, Teddy. Want to race? <laughs> Me too. First, Caillou needed to set a starting point. And finish line. Go! I won! Caillou knew that Teddy could not run by himself. He decided it would be more fun to race with someone that could. Gilbert! Hey, Caillou. 
Caillou, what are you up to? I'm playing with Gilbert. Okay, have fun then. See, Gilbert? We're gonna race over there, okay? One, two, three, go! You were supposed to race! His race was not turning out the way he planned. Who could he play with? Aww. Rosie! Wanna race? Good night! Rosie was too busy to play with Caillou. Caillou! But he wanted to race anyway. There! <laughs> Rosie! Him there. He's the start line. Ready, Rosie? One, two, go! <laughs> Caillou couldn't believe that Rosie won the race. Rosie was so cheerful that soon Caillou was in a good mood too, and he wanted to play again, just for the fun of it. Wrong, wrong, wrong. As good as new. Daddy! Sarah's riding her bike. Can we go for a bike ride too? I don't see why not. It's a great day for biking. Hmm. Let's see now. Are the tires full? Yes. Chain oiled? Yep. Are the brakes working? Uh-huh. Mommy, we're going bike riding. That's great. We're going shopping. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye. Have fun. Hi, Caillou. Look at my new bike. Hi, Leo. Caillou was very impressed with Leo's new bike. It has a special flag and streamers, see? Can I have a turn? No. It's my new bike. I'm sure Caillou would let you ride his bike if you asked him. That was fun! Thank you, Leo. Well, it's time to go now. Bye. Bye. Caillou wished his bike was as nice as Leo's. You know, if we clean our bikes, they'll look good as new. Here you go, Caillou. <laughs> that tickles. Wow, they look brand new, don't you think? Yeah, Leo has a flag and steamers. Yes, those are called streamers. Streamers? Hmm. When I was your age, I used to decorate my bike. Would you like to decorate your bike, Caillou? Yes! How about some red yarn? Green too, okay, Daddy? See? Gilbert likes it too! How about these cards, Daddy? They're perfect, and that will make a perfect flag. Stand back. <laughs> That's funny. Caillou liked decorating the bike. He was having a lot of fun. Yay! The flag! Wow, your bikes look nice. I cleaned mine. I can see that. It's just missing one thing. <laughs> wow. Now Caillou felt proud of his bike. Leo, come see my bike! Can we go for a ride now? Whee! <laughs> I, Robot. Robot? Hi, Sarah. Wow. 
show us, Sarah, please? Okay. You use the remote control. It goes forwards, backwards, and it can even pick up a stick. Bye. Gotta go. I wish I had a robot. Eh. Look at me. I'm a robot. Caillou thought playing robot was a good game to play. But something was missing. Hey, Leo! You need a remote control. Okay, robot. Go fast. Stop. Turn. No, this way. Slow. Fast. <laughs> it's my turn. Go, robot, go! That way! Oh, hello. What game are you two boys playing now? I'm a robot. Oh, I see. Hmm. What if I gave you a robot disguise? Thanks, Mommy. Can I have that pot, Rosie? Robot, but I want to be the robot too. Caillou and Leo were upset because both wanted to be the robot. But who would use the remote control? Oh, there's two little robots in the house now. Who's got the remote control then? May I have it, please? I wonder what all these buttons do. This one says jump. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, well, I have to go and cook dinner now. Thanks, little robots. Let's see if it works on Mommy Robots. Mommy Robot, Mommy Robot. Mommy Robot, get me a snack. Um, please? <laughs> what does this button do? Wow! wow. You two boys are robots again. Oh, no. The remote doesn't seem to be working. I wonder what happens to the robots if the batteries go dead. The robots stop? That's right. They go slower and freeze right where they are. Oh, what will we do now? Hmm, I'll have to push the restart button right here. Mmm, I mean... Yum, yum. That's me. I'm Caillou. I'm four years old, and there's lots I can do. I can make things with my daddy. I know how to make my teddy bear all better. I even read stories to my grandma. But what I'm best at is having fun. Caillou's Water Park. Hi, Mr. Mailman. Hi, Caillou. I'm the new mailman. Neato! Daddy, I'm the new mailman. You are? Good job. Daddy, what's this? It's a brochure for a water park. It's like the swimming pool, only bigger. Can we go? Please, please. Sorry, kids, but it's too far away. Tell you what, though, you can deliver this letter to Mommy. Okay. Caillou was sad he couldn't go to the water park. Mommy, look what we got in the mail. Wow. Looks like they've got lots of neat stuff there. Can we go? Can we please? Hmm, not today. We'd have to plan a special trip. But it sure is hot. Why don't we have our own water park? Our own water park? Let's see what they've got. Oh, look, a picture of a rainbow. <laughs> We've got one of those. See? Caillou was amazed that Mommy had made a rainbow, just like in the picture. How 
could you do that, Mommy? <laughs> it wasn't hard. And making our own water park wouldn't be hard either. Want to give it a try? <laughs> okay. You have to keep your eyes closed. Okay, I've got them closed. Me too. Okay, you can open your eyes. We're here. Where are we? We're at Caillou's Rainbow Water Park. See? Wow, look, Rosie. A rainbow. Rainbow. Before you come in, you have to pay. Okay, here you go. And as our first customers, you win a prize. What prize do they get? <laughs> you get sprayed with water. <laughs> 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 Rosie, go spray Daddy. Rosie, do it. <laughs> okay, I think that's a big enough prize for Daddy. Time for the water game. Yay! You have to get the ball past the tree with this. Rosie, too. It's your turn, Rosie. Stand near the ball. Hold tight. Wow! <laughs> Yay! My turn, Daddy! My turn! Caillou! Yay! <laughs> you did it! I think you should get a prize. What do I get? What do I get? You get sprayed <laughs> with water! Caillou liked how he and Mommy had built their very own water park. gone fishing. Time to get up, Caillou. We don't want to keep the fish waiting. Caillou was getting up extra early because he was going on a fishing trip Hello. with Daddy and Grandpa. Uh -huh. I'm gonna catch lots of fish. I hope so, but sometimes even a good fisherman only catches one. A really big one. We don't need lunch, Mommy. I'm gonna catch a fish this big. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want any? It's peanut butter and grape jelly. Yum. Okay. Grandpa! Hi, Caillou. Hi, Grandpa. <laughs> Your hat is funny. I always catch fish when I wear this hat. That's why it's my lucky fishing hat. I hope you have better luck than last time. You didn't catch anything for dinner. You didn't catch anything? Even if we don't catch any fish, we'll still have lots of fun. Right, Caillou? Caillou was surprised they needed so many things to catch a fish. It's as tall as me, Daddy. Yep, it's the perfect Caillou size. Here's your own lucky hat, Caillou. Now Caillou felt like a real fisherman. Caillou noticed that the feathers on the wall looked like the ones on Grandpa's hat. See, Caillou? These are lures, and these are flies. They're for attracting fish, so we can catch them. I've got the bait. Worms? Fish love worms. It's like peanut butter and jelly to them. <laughs> They're going fishing, too. Caillou thought that the fishermen could catch lots of fish with such a big boat. A fish! A fish! Come back, fish! <laughs> you won't catch fish that way, Caillou. We have to use our fishing rods. Oh. When are the fish coming? Shh, Caillou. You don't want to scare them off. If you're quiet, I'll bet you can hear all kinds of sounds. The more he listened, the more sounds Caillou could hear. Birds! 
That's right, they're seagulls. Can you hear anything else? A dragonfly! Look! That man caught a fish! It was very small, so he let it go. That way, it can grow into a big fish. A little later, Caillou was getting frustrated because he still hadn't caught anything. Aww. Where are the fish? You have to be patient when you go fishing, Caillou. Sometimes you have to wait. See? Look how patient Grandpa is. He's a master fisherman. <laughs> Let's have some lunch. Then we'll go for a walk. It's the boat we saw before. It's coming closer. That's right. They're bringing in the catch of the day. Why we couldn't find any. <laughs> Maybe. Pee It smells. Those seagulls like the smell. He took one. From here, it goes to the store where people buy it and, mmm, cook it for dinner. Caillou wanted to catch a fish and bring it home for dinner, too. Let's fish some more, Daddy. Hi there. Still no luck. I'm just about ready to give up for today. Just a little longer, please. Okay, Caillou. Caillou concentrated really hard on staying still. Suddenly he felt a tug on the end of the line. Daddy! Daddy! A fish! Okay, Caillou, let's try to reel it in. Oh boy, look at that! Aww! Caillou was disappointed that the fish got away. Well, it was a pretty small one. We can come back and try to catch it when it's bigger. Caillou decided he had fun fishing, even if he didn't catch anything. Hmm, all that fresh air made me hungry. I can't wait for dinner. But we didn't catch any fish for Mommy. I have an idea. We'll make a little stop on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Hi, sweetie. It's for you, Mommy. Whoa! What a big fish! We caught it at the store! <laughs> hey, don't give away our fishing secrets. Oops, I forgot! <laughs> <laughs> Water goes round. All right, we need some more cars over here. Okay. Vroom! Grandma, can you come play with me? Sure. But first, how about if you play with me? We can wash these clothes together. That's not a game. It is when I play it. First off, I need a big truck to move this laundry. Me? can be a big truck. Okay, Mr. Truck. I need that bag of laundry pushed down the stairs. Oh, ah. Beep, beep, beep. Vroom. Good work, Mr. Truck. Vroom! Now, I need all the colored clothes over there. Ready? 
I spy with my little eye something that is purple. I see it. Caillou liked Grandma's washing the clothes game. Now, somehow, we've got to get this soap moved into the washing machine. I want to do it. Beep, beep. Now, push the button to get it started. Beep. What game should we play now? I like this game, Grandma. Me too. But we have to wait while the clothes take their bubble bath. Caillou thought it was funny that the clothes were taking a bath just like he did in the tub. I win! You're a good player, Caillou. You know what? I think the washer should have stopped by now. Let's go see. Calling Mr. Truck. I need help to move the clothes from the washer to the dryer. Mr. Truck here. All done. Close dryer door, please, Mr. Truck. Push the button. Now the buzzer will go off when the clothes are dry. We need to listen for it. Mm. Oops. Grandma, the buzzer! Look at me, Grandma. <laughs> I'm wearing Grandpa's shirt. Here, Caillou. You remember how to fold, don't you? Good job. Caillou was proud he could fold like Grandma. Now, where's the other red sock? Top to toe and over I go, into a ball just like so. Top, Top to, to toe, toe and, and over, over I go, go then into, into a ball, ball just like so. Mommy, I helped Grandma wash the clothes. Wow. Can I wash clothes with you at our house, Mommy? Sure. And I think we'll start with that messy shirt. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou's test drive. Vroom, vroom. Beep, beep. The car needs to get by, Daddy. Okay. Caillou thought the car sounded like it had a terrible cold. Is our car broken, Daddy? I think maybe it's time to take it to the garage for some repairs. Actually, how about we all go take a look at some new cars today? never seen so many shiny new cars before. I like the red one. Nice choice, young man. We're just looking around. Maybe you can give us a little tour. Why, certainly. Follow me. What kind of car are you looking for? One that's not broken. <laughs> Door open. Caillou was Door surprised open. that a car could talk. Door. I think you two make enough noise on car rides as it is. Can we look at that one? Sure, come on. I'll show you. Mommy, see! Wow! It looks like a house in there. It's just the right size for you, Caillou. Caillou thought it would be fun to live in a house on wheels. Caillou was having a great time looking at all the different kinds of cars. Where's the roof? It's called a convertible, Caillou. The roof comes off. How about I take us for a test drive? Ah! <laughs> what if it rains? Good question. Watch what happens when I press this button. My car? Wow, nice set of wheels. Here's a price list. Just let me know if you're interested. 
Nice meeting you all. Wow, new cars sure are a lot of money. Can we get the car with no roof, Mommy? Maybe next year, Caillou. I'll bet our car can be fixed up so it's almost as good as new. I'll call our mechanic. Caillou was happy when he saw the car coming home from the garage. Yay! We got our car back! Yep, it's all fixed now. Oh. What's the matter, Caillou? Now my car is broken. Hmm, looks like it's time for another repair. Thanks, Daddy. A very good swimmer. Look, Daddy, I'm a fish. <laughs> a very big fish. The water's just right. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> Mommy, see! <laughs> There's too many people. I don't have enough room to swim. I think Caillou's right. Who'd like to go to the public pool? Rosie! We'll see you in a little while, Caillou. Here, you drop this. Thank you. Caillou had never seen a wheelchair up close before. Mommy, is that a big wagon? No, Caillou, it's called a wheelchair. That girl sits in it because she can't walk like you and me. Shall we go swimming now? Yes! <laughs> Caillou saw the girl swimming underwater. He wanted to try it for himself. <coughs> Mommy, the water gets in my nose. Oh, that's all right, Caillou. There's no harm done. Hi, my name's Tammy. I'm Caillou. <laughs> you swim like a fish. <gasps> that's right, I do. Do you know how to swim underwater? No, it makes my nose itch. Do you ever put your face in the water and blow bubbles? Yes, I can do that. Watch me. That's great, Caillou. You stay there and watch what I could do. Now it's my turn. You're a good swimmer, Caillou. Look at me! Here, swim towards me. It wasn't so easy after all, but Caillou was determined to do it. Did you see, Mommy? I can do it! I knew you could do it, Caillou. Oh, I'm very proud of you. You did it! Now we both swim like fish. <laughs> I have to leave, Caillou. Bye! Did you see me, Daddy? I can swim under the water now! I sure did, Caillou. Swimming like the big kids. I had a lot of fun today. Are you coming back tomorrow? Sure, I'll be back. Here, I want you to have this. Thank you. It'll help you swim underwater. I'll see you around, okay? Tammy seems like a very nice young girl. And a very good swimmer. Uh-huh. And I'm going to practice to be as good as she is. Mommy! <laughs> Mommy is great. She takes me to fun places like the beach. Mommy says it's fun to try new things. <laughs> she likes it when I draw her pictures. It's beautiful, Caillou. Thank you. And I like it when she tucks me in at night. <laughs> to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so 
a lot when I was little. <laughs> I have to go. We're giving my old toys to the community center. Oh. Caillou was disappointed. He still wanted to play the horn. Caillou! Mom says you can keep it if you like. Thanks! Bye bye <laughs> Caillou loved making loud, funny music with the horn. Look at what Sarah gave me! <laughs> Caillou, could I see it, please? It's a nice horn, but this is lunchtime. You can play with it later. <laughs> Besides, it would be hard to eat and play at the same time. Caillou couldn't wait to play again. Now is not the time for this. I'll put it here while you finish eating. I'm finished! Caillou! <laughs> gotcha! You're staying with me! Whee! I can make music too! Rosie, do you want to come too? Can I bring the horn? Hmm, I'm afraid it wouldn't be the right place for it. No. All right then, we'll see you later. Bye bye. Have fun. Caillou felt it was unfair. It never seemed to be the right time or the right place to play the horn. The dog doesn't seem to like that sound very much. You know what? I know the perfect place where we can go. And I can bring the horn? You sure can. Wonder where Caillou can be. <laughs> Caillou? Whoa! <laughs> Hold it, Caillou. Why don't you hand me the horn? I'll give it back to you when you're on top. Sarah! I don't think she heard you. Just then, Caillou had a great idea. This time, Caillou had played the horn in the right place at the perfect time. <laughs> hey, what's that over there? <laughs> the Mighty Oak. wondered where the sound came from. It sounded like a giant bee. Daddy, look! Mr. Hinkle is cutting down that old tree. Want to give him a hand? Yes. Wow! Why is that man cutting down your tree, Mr. Hinkle? The tree is too sick. It had to be cut down. Trees can get sick? Sure. See how easily this breaks? Uh-huh. Mr. Hinkle's tree has become weak. I didn't want the tree to fall down by itself. Someone could get hurt. Oh. Maybe we should have the man look at our tree, huh, Caillou? Okay. The tree is healthy enough. 
I just need to cut off this one branch. Caillou was afraid the tree he liked to swing from was going to be cut down. Is our tree sick, Daddy? I don't know, Caillou. Cutting off a dead branch from a healthy tree doesn't hurt it. It's just like when you get your toenails cut. Toenails? <laughs> don't worry. This tree is very healthy. It's fine. Swing tree is never going to be sick, right, Daddy? I hope not. We'll have to take very good care of it, won't we? Uh huh. Hmm. How about we plant a new tree to keep it company? Okay. Caillou thought that planting a new tree was a good idea. Are you going to plant a new tree too, Mr. Hinkle? You know what? That's a good idea, Caillou. Are you? I'm Caillou. We want a new tree. Mr. Hinkle wants one, too. Well, you've come to the right place, Caillou. Caillou saw lots of flowers, but he didn't see any trees. Where are the trees? Right over there. Those aren't trees. Those are plants. Actually, they're baby trees, but someday they'll grow into big trees. The baby tree intrigued Caillou. It's soft, just like Rosie's blanket. Rosie's my baby sister. Well, this little tree is going to grow just like your Rosie, then. Is this what it's going to look like when it grows up? Yes. Does this tree look familiar? Maybe you've seen one in your house before? It's a Christmas tree! I want this one, Daddy, so we can have a Christmas tree all the time. <laughs> well, that means we've got to decorate it. And you'll have to buy gifts for everyone all the time. No, I won't. These two trees are different from each other. Touch them and see if you can tell what the difference is. Caillou could feel the difference. This one is prickly, and this one has smooth leaves like our tree. Daddy, can we get this one? Okay. And I'd like this one, please. And since all of this was your idea, Caillou, you can come and visit my Christmas tree whenever you want. You keep this. That way you can see how well your tree is growing. Daddy? That's food for the tree. It looks funny. Are you going to feed the tree dinner and breakfast too? <laughs> nope. After this, all it needs is rain and sunshine. <laughs> My turn, Daddy. Okay. Caillou was surprised at how many things had to be done to plant a new tree. There, we're all done. You're a good tree planter, Caillou. Caillou, Caillou! Hi, Rosie. Look at the new baby Ooh. tree. It looks like we're going to get a storm. Let's get inside. Dinner's ready. Hey, Caillou! Hold on, Caillou. I'll come with you. Oh, no! My tree's crooked. All it needs is something to lean on to protect it from the wind. I'll get a stake. Caillou was worried about his tree, and then he got an idea. wanted to find a toy he could leave with the baby tree, so it didn't get lonely during the night. Even 
though Caillou loved his red toy car, he decided that his baby tree could share it. I'm going to cover the tree with my blanket so it doesn't get cold. And it can play with my car if it gets lonely. How long will it take for the baby tree to be as big as this one, Daddy? By the time you're grown up, the tree will have grown up too. We'd better get inside. Good night, sleep tight. Well, Mr. Hinkle. Caillou loved playing in the living room in the morning because right about this time... Oh, it's the mailman! Good morning. Well, good morning to you too, Caillou. See you tomorrow. Bye, Mr. Mailman. Mommy, look what the mailman brought. Is there anything for me? Not today. Oh, but Mr. Hinkle's hardware catalog got mixed up with our mail by mistake. Want to take it over to him? You mean like a mailman? Can I dress like one too? Yes, of course. Well, hello, Mr. Mailman. You look just like my young friend who lives next door. It's me, Mr. Hinkle. Caillou! I'm delivering this catalog just like the mailman. Thank you. Oh, look, I got the same hardware catalog twice. Would you like one? I know how much you like to cut out the pictures. Thank you, Mr. Hinkle. Mommy, look! was still wearing his pajamas. Do grown-ups take naps in the day, too? He could be sick, honey. Remember when Daddy had the flu and we made him a card and some chicken soup? Mommy, could we make chicken soup and a card for Mr. Hinkle? Sure. I bet it'll make him feel a lot better. Look, Mommy. I'm all done. It's beautiful, Caillou. Mommy! Can I get some flowers for Mr. Hinkle? Great idea. You could make a nice vase with this. Hubert! Look, Mommy! It's beautiful, Caillou. All we need now are some flowers from our garden. And a red one, Mommy! Get a red one! One. Mr. Hinkle is going to be so happy when he gets your card and flowers. Yay! Mr. Hinkle, look what I made for you. All this, just for me. Read the card. There's a beautiful bluebird, and underneath it says Mr. Hinkle. That's me. Thank you. This is the best get well card I've ever seen. I'm feeling better already, Caillou. And you know, it's perfect. You put that bluebird on the card. Why? I just finished putting this birdhouse together. Want to come back tomorrow when I'm all better and help me paint it? Okay, Mr. Hinkle. Goodbye. I can't wait to help Mr. Hinkle paint his birdhouse. What? You don't want to be a mailman anymore? <laughs> the big boat. Caillou was very excited because today they were going on a sailboat. Look, Daddy, I have a boat too. May I borrow your boat? I want to show you something. See? The reason we call it a sailboat is because it has sails. When the wind blows in the sails, it pushes the boat on the water. Me too! <gasps> it's time to go to the marina now. That's Yay. where they keep the boats. You'll need to wear your sneakers. 
They're the best shoes to wear on a boat. Ready to feel the wind blowing in the sails? <laughs> that tickles. Can I bring it, Daddy? You sure can. When Caillou got to the marina, there were lots of boats, but none of them seemed to have sails. Bertie! Where's the sailboat? Hmm, I'll give you a clue. Our friend Helen's sailboat is brown and white. I can find it. Come up here, sailor. You'll have a better view. Oh, is too? Do you see it? Welcome aboard, everyone. I'm glad you could come. The boat rocked a little, and Caillou felt a little unsteady. Mommy, the floor is moving. It's okay, Caillou. It takes a little time to get used to it. Safety first. I have something special for you. We need to wear these life jackets while we're on the boat. I have sneakers, too. Look at that. You're on your way to becoming a true sailor. You know, Helen has a whole house just like ours right here inside her sailboat. Where is it? <laughs> I'll show you. Birdie! We'll stay out a bit. Rosie likes the seagulls. Wow. How did you do that? Oh, there are lots of surprises like this on my boat. I have a kitchen in here, too. Do you think you can find it? Is this the kitchen? <laughs> no, Daddy. This is a bathroom. There you go, Caillou. It's a bed. I can't find the kitchen. I spy what looks like an oven door. Uh-huh. This is my galley. That's what we call a kitchen on a boat. Would you like some grapes? Yes, please. Maybe the others would like some, too. Caillou! Caillou saw something way up on the mast that looked familiar. Mm. Mm. Whee! Look, Daddy! Helen has a pinwheel, too! Just like mine! And just like yours, mine tells me when the wind is blowing. Looks like it's time to go sailing! When we're out of the marina, we could shut the motor off, and the sails will do the work. Almost done. And there. Phew. Let's find the wind, shall we? Excited. Helen had turned the boat, so the wind was moving them fast now. Oh, it's all right, Rosie. Here, Rosie. You can have this. Ooh. Wow. Hi! Hi! <laughs> But they have a tiller. See the stick the man is holding in the back? It steers just like my wheel. Caillou, would you like to help me steer? Yes! 
You're doing a fine job, Caillou. I think you can be captain for a while. Caillou was very proud to help steer the sailboat. He was having a lot of fun. But the visit was coming to an end. Thanks, Helen. We had a wonderful time. It was fun sailing with you. Come back soon. Here, Caillou, don't forget this. Thank you! Bye-bye! Bye! Caillou couldn't stop thinking about the wind blowing the sails. <laughs> and that evening, he decided to go sailing again. <gasps> Almost done. Here you go, Rosie. See, Rosie? You have to be the wind. You did it! <laughs> Something for everyone. Caillou, wait for us. We're meeting everyone at 3 o'clock, honey. We've got lots of time. Caillou just couldn't wait. He was excited about playing with all his friends in the park. Huh? This sign says that the park is closed today. Why, Mommy? Oh, they're putting fertilizer on the grass. It makes it grow better. Hi, Clementine. We can't play in the park. It's closed. Oh, no. Everyone was disappointed. Caillou still wanted to play with his friends. Mommy, can everybody come to play at our house? Well, the backyard will be pretty crowded, but sure, they could come over. Yay! Race ya! Let's build a sandcastle! Caillou really wanted his special sandcastle bucket, but he knew that when friends come over, you have to share. There's only two shovels. We can take turns. Watch out, Jeffrey! This is no fun. Caillou's friends didn't seem to be having much fun. play on the swing. Caillou wanted to keep working on the castle. Can I go on the swing now? No. We didn't get to play in the sandbox. We have to take turns. It's no fair. We just got on it. everybody to go home now. What's the matter? Aren't you having a good time? Uh-uh. They don't want to take turns on the swing. How about if you think of a game that everyone can play together? Caillou knew a game that everyone would like. Do you want to play Frozen Tag? Okay. Yeah. Sure. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. <laughs> Caillou was happy that all his friends were having fun together. <laughs> I thought you guys might need a little snack. When you're finished, it'll be time to go home. No! Mommy, we want to play some more. Tomorrow the park will be open again. You'll see each other there. Yay! Skating lessons. My daddy and I made it. Why do you have your skates? Your mom is giving me a ride to my figure skating lesson. <laughs> you can't skate in the summer. Caillou, would you like to come along for the ride? Yeah! 
Hold on, Caillou. You better put this on. It's cool where we're going. Caillou's mommy was right. Even though it was warm outside, inside it was cool and frosty. Ooh. Mommy, it's like winter inside. I'll see you guys on the rink. Why are they wearing ice skates indoors, Mommy? Because this is a skating arena. People can skate here all year long. Does the ice melt in the summer? No, this is special indoor ice. Come, I'll show you. Caillou was amazed. He had only seen ice outside in the winter. Caillou, why don't you come out and skate with me after my lesson? I only skated once before. They have lessons here. You can learn all sorts of neat stuff. Watch! Wow! I'll see you after class, okay? Mommy, could I skate like Sarah if I took lessons? Of course. Would you like to come back for a class? Yes, please! A few days later, Caillou was ready for his first skating lesson. Hello. You must be Caillou. I'm George, your skating instructor. Hello. I already know how to skate. That's great. We're gonna have lots of fun then. Don't forget your helmet. Okay. All right, who wants to learn how to skate? Me too. Then come out here with me. Are you coming, Mommy? I don't have my skates, but I'll be right here the whole time. You know, learning to skate is a little like learning to walk. And sometimes... <laughs> you fell down! Sometimes I do. But that's okay, because I get right back up. Okay, I want you all to kneel like me. You just lift one foot, push up, and bring up the other foot. It's easy, see? Beautiful. You're learning already. The next part is easy. We just walk between the cones and back to the carpet. Caillou, would you like to be first? I learned to skate with a chair. You won't need one. You'll see. Just walk over to me. Whoa! <laughs> That's all right. Now get up, like I showed you. Great job, Caillou. Now everyone. <laughs> and now back to the carpet. You too, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou was getting discouraged. Skating was harder than he expected. That's all right, Caillou. You'll get the hang of it. Let's practice some more, okay? How did you like your first lesson, Caillou? My pants are wet from falling so much. <laughs> yes, but you took the first steps to learning how to skate today. And that deserves a special sticker for your helmet. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Mommy, how come I'm not as good as Sarah? Oh, it takes practice, sweetie. I'm sure it took Sarah a few lessons to get as good as she is now. I don't want to come back tomorrow. Don't be discouraged. This was only your first lesson. Things will get better. You'll see. It's driving on the ice! It's called a Zamboni. See the water it leaves behind? It's making a fresh new layer of ice. What happened to your plane, Caillou? It's not a plane. It's a Zamboni. I'm making ice. Beep, beep. <laughs> you better park it for now. We'll be late for your skating lesson. Do I have to? How about you give it another try? If you still don't like it, 
Then you don't have to go. We could stay to watch the Zamboni afterwards. The Zamboni? Yahoo! Hello, Caillou. I'm glad you came back today. Raphael is new. Maybe you can help her catch up. Uh, don't worry. I fall all the time, too. But I know how to get up. Ready? I can tell you'll make a very good teacher, Caillou. Come on, we have some new games today. That's it for today, everybody. You all did an excellent job. See you tomorrow. Bye, George! Caillou had so much fun at his second lesson. He didn't ever want to leave. Do we have to go, Mommy? We'll be back tomorrow, Caillou. Besides, there's someone I want you to meet. Caillou, this is Henry. He drives the Zamboni. Hi, Caillou. Your mom told me how much you like the Zamboni. Would you like to ride it with me? Can I really? Caillou thought that riding the Zamboni was almost as much fun as learning to skate. There was only one other thing that he wanted to do. Caillou becomes a waiter. Look! I made a picture of Julie. That's great, Caillou. Caillou was excited because Julie was coming over to babysit. Where are you and Daddy going? We're going to eat in a restaurant. Can I come? Not this time, Caillou. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Julie. Look, I made you this. Thank you, Caillou. It's beautiful. There's a casserole in the oven, Julie. We should be home in about three hours. I want to go. I like restaurants. You're going to have a wonderful time with Julie, Caillou. And Mommy made your favorite, macaroni. No, I'm not going to have a good time. Bye, Rosie. Bye, Caillou. Bye. Bye, Caillou. You want to help me prepare dinner, Caillou? OK. I want to eat in a restaurant. Can you play? I have an idea, Caillou. Why don't we make our own restaurant? Okay, Rosie too. <laughs> Caillou was having a wonderful time. He was making a menu and a waiter's bow tie. I wonder what's keeping our waiter. Me too. Here I am. Hmm, it all looks very yummy. But this looks really good. That will be four pennies, please. Choose macaroni. Four pennies, please. No. Okay, one penny. <laughs> Can I be the waiter now, Caillou? Okay. And what would you like to eat, sir? Macaroni's my favorite. Macaroni it is. That will be four pennies, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any money. If you can't pay for your meal, you have to do the dishes. But I guess we could make an exception. No, I want to do the dishes. All this work was making Caillou hungry. I'm glad I didn't go to Mommy and Daddy's restaurant. I like ours better. Sticking to it. Uh, huh. 
Caillou was looking everywhere for one of his favorite toys. Sorry, Caillou, I haven't seen it. Maybe if you cleaned up your room, you'd be able to find what you're looking for. I'm sure you'll find your tractor once you finish cleaning up. Okay. <laughs> some clothes. I bet you could use your tractor to pick up those clothes. Then maybe you wouldn't step on any of your toys again. Yeah, I guess so. I have an idea that might make helping out around the house fun. You do? First we have to make a chart and then some stickers. Can I color them? Sure. I'm going to get my crayons. Every time you help with something around the house, you get to pick out a sticker. Like this sticker. Sticky! Caillou was happy with the stickers he helped Mommy make. He couldn't wait to pick out his first one. I'm finished! Mommy, see! Uh-oh. I'll clean it, Mommy. Ha! <laughs> no, Rosie! Very good. I think you just earned your first sticker. I'll take this one. Now let's see. Oh, look. Brushing teeth is on the chart. Like this? Very good. That's another sticker. I want next, Mommy. It's the biggest one. Hmm. I think it's gonna take something special for that one. Can you think of something special? I can't think of anything special, Mommy. You know, picking up things like clothes is special. Can you think of somewhere to pick up lots of clothes? Hmm. My room! Rosie, see, Mommy, I clean my room all by myself. Rosie, too. This is worth a special sticker. I like helping, Mommy. New clothes. Look, Mommy, I'm making my milk dizzy. <laughs> okay, goodbye. That was Grandma and Grandpa. And guess what? We're going to their anniversary party tonight. Party? Yay! Cake and presents! Let's go now, Daddy! <laughs> Hang on. We have the whole day ahead of us. Besides, you're not even dressed yet. <laughs> Mommy, can you help me get dressed? I think maybe you're big enough to get yourself dressed today. I am? It's simple. Just choose some underwear, socks, a shirt, and some pants. Caillou decided to pick his monkey shirt, but he liked the red one Grandma gave him, too. Caillou was having so much fun picking his favorite clothes, he forgot to get dressed at all. Are you almost ready to go play outside? You sure did. Now, let's see. Two shirts? Great job, but don't you think you might be a little cold playing outside in shorts? Maybe I'm wrong. Why don't we check outside and see? It's warm. It's... Ugh! Daddy, can I wear something else? You sure can. What happened in here? A tornado? 
Why don't you pick out some long pants and a sweatshirt, okay? They're sure to be a bit warmer. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. How are you? Where's Caillou? <laughs> Here I am. Well done. But I think you may have put your pants on backwards. That's how I like them. <laughs> All right. Let's clean up some of these clothes, okay? Later that evening, it was time for Caillou to get dressed into some nicer clothes. How about wearing this? It's very nice. Caillou listened to Mommy's suggestion, but he wanted to dress himself. No, I want to wear this. Okay. Hi, Caillou. Don't you look handsome? And we heard you got dressed all by yourself. Caillou noticed Daddy and Grandpa looked really nice in their fancy party suits. Suddenly, he wasn't so sure about his own clothes. Daddy, can I change my clothes again? Sure. That's the best part about being old enough to dress yourself. Grandpa, can you fix my tie too? shows me how to do lots of neat stuff. We like skating, except it's not that easy at first. Whoa! And sometimes Daddy acts silly. <laughs> but he always knows how to take care of us. When I grow up, I want to be just like my Daddy. I live. Look, Daddy. That's our family. Wow. I'll help you. Hmm. I could use a driver. Are you interested? Yes. Okay, Mr. Driver. Point the way to the flowers so I can drop off this dirt. No brakes! Hi, Caillou. Come over. I have something to show you. Daddy, can I go? You sure can. It's a letter for you. It says Caillou, right there. There's a mistake in the number of the address. It says 15 Pine Street. That's my number. What's your number? Caillou knew there were numbers on his house, too, but he didn't remember what they were. Uh, let's go see! Uh, one and seven. That's 17. Look! I have a letter! Wow! Hmm. Mailed to 15 Pine Street. That's my address. At 15, it feels like a dream. <laughs> I made it up so I'd remember. <laughs> That's a good idea, Sarah. Caillou, do you know what our address is? Uh-uh. 17 Pine Street. Hey, how about we make our own rhyme? Oh. Jelly Bean, 17. I am fine. I live on pine. My family's fine. The sun likes to shine. Come here and see us at 17 Pine. <laughs> Write 17 on your house. There, 17. I better go back home now. We're supposed to go to the store soon. Bye. Jelly Bean 17. I am fine. I live on pine. Hi. <laughs> 17. I'm very impressed. What's this? <gasps> to Caillou. Let's see. Isn't this pretty? It reads, you are invited to my party, Saturday at 1. And it's from Clementine. Yay! A party! I want to go! Let's call her to let her know you'll be there. You can also tell her your correct address. Okay, sweetie. It's Clementine's mom. You can tell her our address. Hi. Uh, Jelly Bean 17... Um... 
I am fine. I live on Pine. I live at 17 Pine. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, please. Hi, Clementine. I'm coming to your party. A good friend. Are you ready to go? Leo will be here any minute. Yes. Oops. Caillou was going to the park with Mommy and Leo, and he wanted to take all his favorite toys with him. You can't take all those. How about you pick one or two? Why don't you leave your dinosaur? You don't want it to get dirty in the park. Okay. Dino's my new friend. I like Dino, too. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Okay. Bye. Try this. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go there. I can run fast. I can run faster. Roar! <laughs> that was fun. Let's climb to the top. such a good time at the park with Leo. He wanted to see him again. You want to play tomorrow? Okay. Your Auntie Joan is coming tomorrow morning. But I want to play with Caillou. You could bring Leo tomorrow afternoon if you want. All right. Hooray! Bye! And we played in the sandbox and on the jungle gym. Sounds like you had a really good time. Hello? Oh, hi. Really? I'll have a look around. Bye. That was Leo's mommy. Leo lost his toy dinosaur. Oh, no! Why don't you have a look to see if it's with your toys? Caillou knew how much Leo liked his new dinosaur. He must have left it somewhere. I know! He left his dinosaur at the park! I know where it is! Can we go get it? Hmm, it's gonna be dark soon. Leo's gonna have to get Dino tomorrow. Dino's going to be scared all alone in the dark. Well, I guess we could walk over to the park after dinner. Yay! Yay! It's not here, Daddy. Where else did you play? There and there. I don't see it. We better get home. It's getting dark. It looks like we're going to get some rain. Caillou was glad his dinosaur, Rexy, was safe. But he was worried about Leo's dinosaur. Dino's going to get all wet. Maybe someone put him in a nice, safe place. I bet Leo's really sad. You know what we'll do? Tomorrow, when you get up, we'll make a lost poster and hang it up in the park. That made Caillou feel a lot better. The poster was sure to help find Dino. Good night, sweet dreams. The next day, Caillou made a poster to hang up in the park. Rosie, 
too. Sticky! There. You did a good job on your poster. Now, if someone has seen Dino, they can call Leo's house or ours. <laughs> Hello there. Can I help you? Leo lost his dinosaur. He did? Did you find it? No, but there's a lost and found department at the park office. You might find it there. Lost and found? What's that? If someone finds something and they don't know who owns it, they can leave it at the lost and found department. And if you lost something, you know where to go to see if someone found it. Can we go, Mommy? Sure. Bye. Thank you. Look at all the things people lost. And, Mommy, they don't know that someone has found them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Like the lost and found, but he was upset that he hadn't found Leo's dinosaur. We have to go home and have lunch. Leo is coming this afternoon. What about Dino? It doesn't look like he's here. We'll just have to keep looking for him. I found him! Look, Mommy, I found Dino! Caillou was really happy he found Dino. For finding Dino. I didn't find him. Caillou did. You're my best, best friend, Caillou. Thanks. Let's play inside. I don't think Dino wants to be lost anymore. Just like me. It was a beautiful summer day and Caillou was playing in the park with Rosie. Caillou! Look, no more training wheels. Wow! Billy taught me. I like having a big brother. He teaches me lots of things. I teach Rosie lots, too. Like what? Um... Caillou tried to think what he had taught Rosie, but he couldn't remember. Time to get going! Caillou, come get your toys. Gotta go. Bye, Clementine. I'll close it. I'm her big brother. You certainly are. Caillou wanted to teach Rosie something, just like Billy had taught Clementine. Want to learn how to ride my bike, Rosie? Yay! <laughs> okay, now push the pedals. What are you doing, Caillou? Billy showed Clementine how to ride her bike. I want to show Rosie. There are some things Rosie's too young for right now. Just like you used to be when you were her age. Choo-choo! No, Rosie, don't take it apart. Watch, Rosie. I'll show you. You put it together like this. <laughs> Caillou was very excited he taught Rosie to put the train track together. He wanted to show Mommy. Look, Mommy. Come see. Okay. <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> I guess Rosie's not old enough to put the train set together. Come on, you two. Lunch is ready. Why don't you show Rosie how to eat spaghetti? Rosie, watch. You take the four and put the spaghetti like this. <laughs> Paschetti! I guess I'm not a very good big brother. I can't teach her anything. That's not true. She watches everything you do and copies it. That's one of the ways she learns. Really? Sure. I know something you can teach her. How about that song we used to sing before bed? A. Sí. 
thing. It's called the ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, F, G, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. She did it. <laughs> you can't stop there. There's still the rest of the alphabet to go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Just in time. Wake up, Caillou. It's time for breakfast. No dawdling this morning. We don't have much time before we meet Leo at the park. Uh, okay. Thank you, Caillou. Caillou thought about getting some breakfast. But when he saw his toy car, oh. he couldn't oh. help but stop and play with it. It's about time. Rosie's already finished her breakfast. Car, car! Not now, Rosie. I have to eat breakfast. You'd better hurry. You still have to get changed and brush your teeth. Caillou was having such a good time playing with his car. He forgot about brushing his teeth. Caillou! You're still not ready? Uh-oh. Hmm. Caillou was taking a long time deciding which shirt to wear. Caillou, we're ready to go. Coming! Caillou was finding all sorts of interesting things on the way to the playground. A caterpillar! It's very pretty, but we should keep going. It's not polite to keep Leo and his mommy waiting. There he is! Caillou wondered why Leo was leaving the playground. Hello! We waited for you as long as we could, but we have to get going now. Oh, sorry we're so late. Bye, Caillou. Maybe we can play later. Bye. Bye. It took so long for you to get ready, and now we hardly have any time left to play. Caillou was disappointed that he couldn't play with Leo. Almost ready for your bedtime story? Can you read me three bedtime stories, Daddy? I don't know if he can. Remember what happened today when we ran out of time? It depends how long you take getting ready. I know. How about we make it a game? When I turn this timer upside down, you've got five minutes to get ready for bed before all the sand gets to the bottom. On your mark, get set, go! Caillou <laughs> really wanted Daddy to read three stories. <laughs> you sure did, Caillou. That deserves three bedtime stories. Caillou was very happy that he got ready on time. I like that game, Daddy. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Caillou, and he used to take a lot of time to do things. Mr. Fixit. Caillou liked laundry day. The whole house smelled nice. Gilbert is helping you fold the laundry. <laughs> Gilbert, silly cat. That's no place for you. I know I put two socks in the washer. Now, where did the other one go? Huh? Ooh. Oh, no! Snow! <laughs> oh. Mommy, we're washing the clothes and the basement. Well, I think I better call someone to fix it before we wash the whole house. Why don't we call the man who fixed the dryer last year? The next day, someone knocked at the door. Hi, Bob, isn't it? Yes, good to see you again. And Caillou, isn't it? 
Do you remember me? Uh-uh. I'm Bob, and I'm here to fix your washing machine. It's not my machine. It's my mommy and daddy's. But I know where it is. It was fine until yesterday. Come on, Caillou. We'll let Bob work in peace. Oh, that's all right. I can use the help. I have my own tools. I'll be right back. How to fix things too. These are very nice tools. Oh, I like this one. It's called a wrench. Do you know what it's for? Uh huh. No. It's for tightening things. Here, hop up here on this chair and I'll show you. You fit the wrench onto this bolt and turn it like this. That tightens it. Do you want to give it a try? Uh. Good job. See, now we tighten this all the way. Put the cap on, and we're done. It sounds much better now. I helped fix it, Daddy. He sure did. Oh, I found this wrapped around the stem. Aha, uh -huh, my missing sock. Daddy, can I fix something for you? Sure, I could use a hand hammering this nail into the wall. Okay. Now hit that nail with the hammer. Not too hard. Good job. Mommy, I helped that man fix the washing machine. And I helped Daddy, too. Thank you, Caillou. That's very wobbly. But I bet you could help Daddy fix it. There, that should make it stable. And now for the most important part, the glue. Do you want to do it, Caillou? What's my little handyman doing? Is it fixed, Caillou? Yes, it is. And this time, Daddy helped me. Rosie. She's my baby sister, and I love her. We play games together a lot. And we have fun. I get to show her things I like. And sometimes I help take care of her. Because I'm her big brother. 